no. But no, everybody followed the should follow the Hove and be uh they blueprint. Should, but everybody's not good. Everybody can't be Hove. I mean that's that's part of the thing we talk about all the time. Goes but on. I mean you should at least be following that blueprint. You should. You should. I mean the fact that she holds him accountable, even though we okay, we look at him as Hove. Oh, this is Hove. Right. Yeah, Hove was just another dude. But like don't she, follow the blueprint too. No. Unless it's the blueprint two point one. If you condense it down, because Blueprint two point one got condensed down, right? Yeah, if, if it's Blueprint two point one, then yeah. you know you're solid. You're but solid, uh, yeah. you know you got a little filler on that Blueprint too. Hey, I, I applaud Beyonce for that because without her being who she is, we would have never got four forty four. This is true. You know what I'm saying? This is true. Or yeah. Lemonade. Or Lemonade. Yeah. Well, if he wasn't who he was, we would have got Lemonade. Yeah. You know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs>
If I leave without it, that will prove whether or not do I really need this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if I do, just go buy it. Whatever. Losing something, though, like besides, don't, there's only two things I've ever lost in my life. And I found both of them that really mm-hmm. messed me up. Like my wedding band, uh-huh. which I lost in, a, in the couch. I fell asleep. It fell off my finger. I don't know how. Then Lil Nadir found it. Shout out to him. There you go. And then uh, my wallet, which happened last week. Wow. I uh, came home, and I could not find my wallet to save my life. And we ended up finding it in the third row of the van. I don't know how I got back there. Nice. I want to say one of the kids was playing with it or something, but we found it nonetheless. Yeah. Um, those are the only two things I've ever lost where I'm just like, I'll be sick about. Like, See, bro, that would never happen to me because literally, literally, every time like I get up to move from one place to another, like, so say that I'm leaving the house, mm-hmm. I pat my pockets, make sure I have the four things that I need. <laughs> when I get into my car, you know, I know it's all good. When I get out of my car, I pat my pockets again, make sure I still got the four things that I need. Yeah. So on and so forth. I, I've, Knock on wood, have not lost anything in okay. in years. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Hey, but, you got the system down this far. You know what though? But I'm I'm, I'm very uh, particular about that sort of thing. Like I, I put things back. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I'm not I'm not a free spirit where yeah. it's like oh just leave it out. No, I put it back. Your like all my video come. games, they always end up Your back in the cases. Come. I love I love these conversations now. It's like an archive. No, no, back. listen. I, no, no, no. I, I would gonna... be a stickler for this. I, I no, no, you're not gonna be able to. Kev, you act like you. I love like in a way for this day to come, bro. Because I'm telling you, all that you're talking about goes out the window once the little ones go. Brother, I'm gonna be a dictator. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you can be a dictator not, all you want. Yeah, no. When you have that little one that looks like you, looking you right in your eyes and just says, "No." Yeah, I'll be like, "Listen, <laughs> I know what you're capable of. <laughs> get it, get it together, <laughs> get in line." And they're gonna say, "Okay." You know what though? Even though I, I do wonder about that sometimes too, because it's like my it's wife, gonna break you down. Well, my wife is the complete opposite, so I know that they're gonna they're gonna hear me telling them this stuff or whatever. They're gonna be like, "Well, what mommy does is much <laughs> exactly. easier." Exactly. And she gets to do that. And it's That's like exactly how do I explain how it that? Is. You know what I mean? Because in my heart of hearts, I'm the same way. I try to be a dictator until, like, they break me down. You're weary. The body can only take me so much. Well, no, see, it's not even that. It's it's the fact that it's like I don't have an answer to that question. It's like, well, well, mommy does this, so why is it not okay? And it's like, well, I can't tell her not to do it. <laughs> right. But I can tell you not to do it. Right. But, but they're always going to trump you by going to mommy and doing it. Yeah, exactly. Until they get to the but, age... Where you can actually tell them, like, okay, it doesn't matter what mommy says, daddy's saying this. No, I, I do think that it's going to get to a point uh, where it's like, it's going to get on my wife's nerves. She's yeah. going to be like, oh, you know, no, this was a bad habit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we got to yeah, break this. Yeah. You step on enough Legos at some point, you're going to be like, you know what? It is a better idea to pick these up. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You almost break your neck stepping on a hot wheel, yeah. slipping and falling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe leaving them out, not, not uh, the best operation. Right. Yeah. So. All right, man. But yo, let's start like we always do. What have you been playing? What you been playing, bro? Oh man, uh, division. Uh, okay. Like we said, I'm world tier five. I think I'm level. I think my gear score is 500 now. Nice. I think I got it to 500. Uh, even though I, I heard that you can get it up to 570, I don't know how that works. 515, I think. 515. Okay, I, I don't, think 515. I'm, I could. I don't wrong. know. I don't know how any of that works. But uh, yeah, I'm now. I'm doing work. Okay. I'm, I'm Have out you got any it down. Um, I got the chatterbox. I put it together. Um, and then I bought the blueprint upgrade for it, mm-hmm. and uh, it was like, well, you've already crafted it, so you can't uh, you can't upgrade it now. So then I broke, broke it, down. it down. Yeah, and yeah, I gotta, now you gotta go do it all over again. I gotta go collect. Welcome pieces to my again. world. Yeah, Welcome I only need my... one more piece though. So do it's you? All good. Okay, yeah. good. We need a party, man. See, that's why we need it. We talk about so much stuff. We never talked about it. I did the exact same thing. Where <laughs> the exact same? Thing. I thought I talked about it in the last pod. Yeah, I did the exact same thing, bro. So I'm going doing the same thing. I got two high end keys this morning. Okay. Um. And now I'm ready to go back and get do the pieces because I need two more pieces. Okay. So I got one. I need to get two more. I wonder if I jump in your game if they drop them in your world if I'll get it. No, they will. I, well, what I what I read was or what I yeah what I heard on YouTube was that uh, if you go into somebody else's game and you try to get those drops, it won't drop for you, and you'll have to wait 24 hours from when you tried it with them because oh. uh, it resets every 24 hours. And yeah. I went to both the uh, man where where was it the federal district. Okay. I went to both the hyena caches there, and uh, neither one of them dropped the last piece I needed. So I was like, uh, really? Yeah. Because the one we did, so you got more information than I do, because I don't even know where to go. I kind of was just waiting for someone else to jump online. Oh, absolutely. But now that you know, that we could we could definitely do that. But yeah. when we did it the first time, I did them for you, and you got them. You got them for the first time. I mm-hmm. was actually doing it the second run. <laughs> so I because I had done exactly what you did. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. Okay, yeah, so I got division. I got two out of three. Yeah, uh, yeah. outside of that, man, just a, a 2K. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Okay, so Galaxy Opal, Michael Jordan drop. Mm-hmm. I have not been excited in a while about packing pack openings other than this. When I saw, because uh-huh. I was expecting to see pink, um, the pink diamond and Galaxy Opal um, might be a reward or something. Harden. Oh yeah, I, I thought Harden was this week. When you sent yeah. me that thing of it was Jordan, yeah. Oh bro, I got excited. Oh, I freaked out. Oh, I freaked out. I'm gonna yeah. tell you. So, so let me tell you my story here. Hold, so okay. hold on, before we get to that, so you haven't got him yet. 
I have not. I have not secured him. I secured a diamond, Jordan, which I'm very ungrateful for. You uh, ungrateful for that? I should be happy about it, but I just okay. can't be. Even though it's a very good card, if you're if you're balling and yeah. balling on a budget on 2K, go buy that Jordan because that diamond Jordan is only like twenty five, thirty thousand right now. Okay. And then I got the Amethyst Jordan. I'm like, what am I going to do with this crap? Yeah. Okay. Two yeah. K. Yeah. Treat me better. I did. <laughs> I did get the Amethyst Jordan. Okay. He's a complete issue. Really? Like, I put a whole bunch of videos up. Like, I, I couldn't not record it. You know, I'm so <laughs> yeah. excited. I could not not record it. Oh, I didn't even play him yet. Bro, I did. I had 55 the first game. Nice. Like, he literally baseline, he's unstoppable. Yeah, he's fast. He's like, fast. he's super fast. Like, every time on the on the wing, when you see that thing um, for the call outs, mm -hmm. and he says mismatch. It doesn't matter who's on him. Yeah. So, he's doing, um, you know, mismatch. He had about 15 dunks. Yeah. You know, 30 at the half. He ended with 55. The blow by is nasty. Oh, my God. And he's with Jordan with hair, too. So yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. That's the that's thing. Ricky right? I was Jordan like, okay. flying, for real. I thought about buying the diamond one, which mm -hmm. was weird that this came out that had the Galaxy Opal in the packs. That's yeah. what was so dope First to time me. this First year. time. Yeah. So, I spent some MT. Okay. I actually spent real money this time. You bought some? Okay. I got the... I got the uh, what else did you land then? Well, I didn't get anything else. That's okay. the thing. I did not. Oh, I did not. Got Amy? I, did, I did. I got Amethyst. Was the oh, best one I got. Bro. I did not get anything. I'm up to about three hundred thousand k. I was. I was. Pissed when I got that amethyst. Like, <laughs> were you? <laughs> yeah. So, well, first of all, I had already had the diamond, so I, so I had I had enough uh, coin that I, I went and bought a pack uh, immediately as soon as they dropped, and uh -huh. I got the diamond Jordan in there. I was like, oh, all right, cool. I wish I would have just saved all week, and then uh, I wish I, I would have got too. it. But yeah, hey, I didn't do that. Whatever. And I actually ended up getting that that new pink diamond KD. Go yeah. figure. It absolute monster. That's Is it better than the old one though? Yes. Okay. I, really? I, you know, it's it's hard to tell. But See, that's your guy, though. Listen, I can never listen. get KD shooting style down. Whoo! I God. can't. Harden, I got down to a like a science. I get listen, green every time. That KD card, like it. That even I, I've tried out this Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan, but that KD is probably still the best player in the game. Really? Like 20, he's unguardable. Twenty Hall of Fames, though. See, yeah. you haven't played with the Galaxy Opal Jordan. I gotta think that that's gotta be like yeah I'm, the amazing point though. That's like, what you know what I, I would think that too, but it's like I've already got two Galaxy Opals and like they're very good. Like uh -huh. don't get me wrong, they're very good, but, but it's you got not big men. It's not yeah, but they're not game breakers, and that's really kind of the thing. It's like, and it, do I think Jordan is going to be a game breaker? I don't know because it's it's hard to find that sweet spot between like the problem with the bigs is that they're not very fast. So Blake Griffin, Carl Malone, they're not very fast cards. Right, right. Like they're fast enough, they they can do things, but they can't really put it on the floor. Yeah. And uh they can shoot the long range jumper, but they got kind of a slow motion or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they have to be open. Now, Blake Griffin, complete problem. You get him in the post. He's jamming oh, no. on everything. He's a bully. Yeah, he, he's jamming I, on I mean, everybody. I can only imagine. I got the pink diamond Blake Griffin, and he's a complete <laughs> Nothing bully. he can't do in the post. Yeah. And same but, thing with Carl Malone. But see, you, you got to think. They didn't do Carl Malone that great. I mean, the thing he did with the 14-year-old, man. Like, like, <laughs> oh, wow. Can't. Wow, it's getting dark early. You know what I'm saying? Cut you know, the they lights off. They had to crap on his foot. It's going to be over for that reason alone, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, no, that, that's a really good card, too. But, I can um, imagine. So I'm, but Jordan, it's like, yo, with him being six six, you gotta almost run him at the point, or you gotta run him at the two. Like he can't yeah. play any other position. KD can literally play any position. He's fast. His dribble moves are fast. His release is quick. Like you just like you can't guard him. Yeah. You just can't guard him. He, he should get a Galaxy Opal one of these at some point. At That's some what point. I would think too. Because that that ninety eight, it's like it, it's it's really just a number in the corner. Because that card can do anything. He's better than all the other cards I have. Really? Yeah. Okay. Until Galaxy Opal Jordan is secured today. Yeah, yeah. He he will be secured. He will be part of Deer's team. So hold on. So where did you? How did you bust down? Did you bust down boxes? Did you do yes, singles? Yes. Okay. I bust down a big box. Twenty box. And, okay. Uh, and I didn't get a dag on thing, but that amethyst uh, Jordan. Mm -hmm. And then I had enough left over to do um, two regular packs, and I didn't get anything out of those either. Okay. So I I just my luck just hasn't been good. So I gotta think that the RNG gotta get better. Uh -huh. um, one thing I've noticed with 2K is, uh, for me anyway, is the more, like, if I do it every day consistently, eventually I will something get something drop. Good, you know? I've been getting good stuff all week because, I mean, I got the Pink Diamond, I got the Pink Diamond KD, I got the Pink Diamond Dame Lillard. I don't even know why I was going after that penny. I should have just saved that coin. Yeah. But I went after Penny because it was like, something new. Why yeah, not? Yeah, yeah, and exactly. you, don't, you don't know what's coming on Friday. Right. It's, it's Tuesday. I'm right. like... Yeah, right. whatever. And there's Penny. no way. We knew that I was somebody gotta crack into this Da Vinci code right. and know the future was coming. Because <laughs> if coming. I knew that Jordan card was gonna be in there, I'd have been chilling. Oh bro, I would have bought a dad. I didn't thing. even want those penny. You know what? It was it was a point I was opening packs and I was like, oh damn, these is the wrong packs. <laughs> 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 I, I just bust down 20 boxes like, oh, you know what, this wasn't even the right box. My bad. Did you get the penny? 
No, I never really? got a penny. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't care. I'm like, if I ever want them, I'll just buy them. It's no yeah. big deal. I'm trying to get some of the cards that people like. I know everyone's clamoring over the Jordan card. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get the ones that I'm were. Trying to snipe a little bit. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm yeah. trying to get that onto the Kumpo. Which one? The pink, the pink diamond. diamond one. Either one of them, the new one or the old one. I said, get the diamond. You'd be fine. The diamonds, okay. Yeah, I got the okay. diamond. I run it. That's a good card. I'm gonna get that one then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the I do G- love. I do love what 2K is doing though. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's definitely putting blood back into the game. Um, so yeah, that's my story of the Galaxy Opal. So no heck no, I ain't got it yet, man. Yeah. I wish I could come here and tell you I got it. I'm gonna have you it know? tonight. Yeah, I know you no, will, but no you got enough coin to buy it. Yeah, no, no. Well, and the thing is, I don't know how I rack up so much at MT because I, I literally spent it all on Kyrie. And like I told you, Kyrie was like four fifty or something like that. Really? Yeah, because like, I bought the limited edition Kyrie. Uh, so I, I bought okay. the big boy. Uh, that, you know, it was like Jordan eighteen Hoffers or something like that. that. Jordan got twenty Hoffers. Man. Yeah, twenty Hoffers. I mean, that limited Jordan got thirty Hoffers. Like. Sheesh. Lord, man, what are you are talking you about? What did you say, Game Breaker? Hold on, what is a Game Breaker? So a Game Breaker is just a player that's just unstoppable. Right, Jordan got to be unstoppable. 20 or 30. I'm telling you, the Amethyst is on the rim all the time. Yeah, it's going to depend on how his three ball actually falls. Because I don't be believing in ratings sometimes. It's yeah, like, yo, that's true. A lot of times people be having a high rating, and they don't be hitting them shots. Uh, yeah, and Allen court, I still to this day that's the worst card I've ever got. Bro, pink horrible! Ray, oh my god, horrible! I, I've never sold, I've never acquired and sold a pink diamond that quick. <laughs> Literally, it was about a day and a half. I thought as soon as you talked to you, like, yeah, I got that Ray Allen in lineup. I was like, sell it, <laughs> <laughs> sell it yeah. fast because it sucks. I didn't, I didn't trust you at first. Let me make Kevin. What you talking about? Let me... He hate. He trying to. He trying to stop my shine. Bro, no, no, that card is bad. I was a good budget card. We might watch this 2K fan. Get that Greg Oden pink diamond. Yeah, yeah I mean, eventually <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick that up too, man. Bro, he's a monster. Yeah, listen, pick up. Damn Lillard, that damn Lillard is nasty. I mean, if it's anything like he is in real life, I definitely should pick him up. That like that Kyrie card, I think I was working off nostalgia from when I was running that diamond Kyrie that was really good. That mm-hmm. pink diamond Kyrie, it's all right. It's all right. It's not all like that though. I, if, I was like that with Russ. I think well, I love that Russ card. I do too. I still yeah, run that, it. that Russ card flies. But uh, that Dame Lillard, I would probably say that Dame Lillard is a little bit better. It's, it's a little more physical, it can dunk. Mm-hmm. Well, that Kyrie card doesn't really dunk at all. Um, yeah, it, it's cool. It's a cool yeah, card. It was a good I, moment. And I like Kyrie, so it's yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. I had to have him in the lineup, but... Yeah, we're going to talk about him later. Yeah, I, we're, I probably... We're going to talk about him. If I had to do over again, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay 450 for it. Yeah. yeah. 450, oof. Yeah. I yeah, mean, uh, what's the limited edition? Applesauce to a boss. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I mean, Humble it's... brags. No, <laughs> can't do this with you. All right, man. So, Borderlands 3, gameplay, live stream thoughts. What did mm-hmm. you think? I didn't see it. So you, you didn't gotta, see it? Yeah, you got to tell me about okay, it. Okay, what, so what I, what I saw from it, though, is that Borderlands mm-hmm. had their uh, their reveal stream okay. and showed gameplay about two and a half hours. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch all wow. two and a half hours, of course, but, um, you know, just the breakdowns of what everybody was doing and the people that were there were some of the streamers that I follow that actually played Borderlands and played Destiny mm-hmm. and um, a lot of the looter shooter games. And what they said was it was a cross between... Um, Destiny and Borderlands as far as the shooter aspect. Because one thing Destiny has down pretty well is that it is a good shooter. Uh-huh. Um, and it just felt like a like a good shooter. felt like Borderlands. It okay. looked good. Um, they were playing on PC, I think. But the, the PC versus the console versions aren't going to be too, too much different. Um, so it looked good, man. I mean, you know, as a Borderlands fan, I'm excited about more Borderlands and the fact it's been a while since Borderlands 2. Were they running through the story? Or no. was it like a, just well, a different game? It was, it was part of the story. Of course, you don't know which part of it you're getting into. Right. Um, but it looks like, I mean, it had the skill trees on there. Mm-hmm. Um, so just like the past. And one thing that was pretty cool, I'm pretty sure it'll shake up in the game, is that, you know, before you had to go to a world and um, you would uh, you would do your, you know, buying things like your iridium, you use iridium to buy your right. backpack upgrades and stuff. Well, now you have a ship. And the coolest thing I found on the, on the stream was that, on the ship, if you ever like forget any loot from a mission or something like that, mm-hmm. on your ship that you go to, which is like your hub world, they have a um, a spot that that kicks out all the loot that you potentially left. Oh, okay. so any loot you left, you can go here say acquire you know lost loot or whatever. So like sometimes one thing Borderlands had was like a, Borderlands ran a lot on physics. Uh-huh. So like if you shot the wall, the bullets would ricochet. If you uh, if you, like if 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 you killed a boss, of course the the loot would just shoot out like a like a funnel. Right. Sometimes it would shoot out and it would go like off the board. So that was just wow. something you couldn't get. It was just lost forever. Well, now, I, I guess that's the reason why they did this. If you go back to your hub world, there is a section on your ship that you can go to, and it's just for lost loot. Okay. And it just kicks it out. So you that's can leave dope. leave the mission and go. So um, other than that, man, it just looked pretty. It looked like, you know, the cell shading. I don't. I know some people are um, 
criticize over it, but they're not, I would think, Borderlands fans. Because anybody that's a fan of Borderlands, you got to love the art style of it. Yeah, it looks a little weird, but I, yeah. I, I got over it. Like, it, it looks cartoony, but yeah, yeah, it very. works. It works in that, that it game does. style. It yeah. does. And yeah. it, it has its own um, signature style, the way it looks, right. um, the way it plays. And like I said, the people that, um, everyone that I've looked that uh, streamed it and talked about it, they loved it. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Um, but it looked good. Yeah, it look good. Hey man, you know what? I, I gotta bring now that you got Go talking about looter shooters. Mm -hmm. Gotta bring this back to division. Go ahead. Now that I am uh, 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 level five hundred or whatever you call that, my gear score is five hundred. Yeah. Like the loot that gets dropped is kind of pointless. Very much at so. this point. So now yeah. it's like I, I just look at the stuff. And I'm like, I'll deconstruct it, I guess, or I'll, well, I'll take it back and sell it. But okay, I have no clue. Like what? What's a good gun? I, I found a gun. It mows. It, I've got some kind of. I think I got the, the police assault rifle, the okay. police M14 or something like that. Nice. And it mows. I mean, it literally. Well, just see, chops everything. This is what you should do now. This is where you're at the point in the game where you're what is called the end game. Mm -hmm. You need to work, start working on your your loadout builds. Okay. So the loadouts you want to try to get, like so. One thing I've I'm I have the crossbow, so I have all that maxed out. Yeah, I'm maxing need... that out now. I'm almost there. Okay. Did you do any of the other two skill trees? Not yet. Okay. So we need to work on those. And mm -hmm. the reason being is the raids coming out pretty soon. Yeah. And um, eight you know, player, huh? Eight player raid. Yeah. All oh, yeah, it's nice. gonna be fun. Okay. A lot of people get cussed out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so having different loadouts for different skill sets is gonna be very key in the raid. Okay. So like we might get to a point where we need a a, a sniper, you know. So it's you know having that sniper rifle, having that build build out, you can be able to be interchangeable from all three. Okay. Um. So that's that's the thing. So when you now gear score, don't get hung up on just the gear score being over 500, 515 or whatever. You can be a four eighty, four ninety, and just have a great loadout, have you know build on armor, build on health, however you want to do it, mm -hmm. and um still be very viable in the game. So okay. don't feel that because that's one thing i did See. was when i got to like everything at 40 i don't need this no more deconstruct, deconstruct it sell it or yeah. whatever well i don't know what's any good anymore. like i yeah. see the guns i'm like well i've got a really good gun already what, yeah. what is this going to do for me yeah so I, I usually and and i always find that uh like my backpack now is always full oh, so yeah. it's like yeah. <laughs> and i would start selling stuff um this is another thing that's good about having being part of a clan mm. is that you go to the clan vendor and once you get to a clan, like you join our clan, we're level 16 now. Okay. So the clan vendor kicks out some pretty good things. What I would look for, though, for for you, and there's one thing I'm hunting down right now, is the uh, the knee pads that have patience on them. Okay. And what patience is, when you get behind cover, um, your, your your health generates. Okay. So you don't have yeah, to use patch, you don't have to use uh, your, your drone or anything to heal you. Yeah. As long as you're within cover, wait two seconds, your health just starts going back up. See, buddy, I, I ain't going to lie. You might already have them, though. You well, might I don't think I do, but uh, I, I I hardly ever find myself in trouble to the point where it's like I like I I, I most I most things down, and it's like eventually all them guys are gonna be dead and my health is gonna restore anyway, so no, no big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, how are you like the um, the aim of shooting and stuff? Like do you? Uh, do you feel good about it? What I found is that yeah, I feel good about it, but okay. uh, with it, what I found is that. Uh, I remember you were talking about you don't craft much, but uh, you can actually craft a reflex sight. Well, that reflex sight automatically, it basically auto aims for you when you snap down. Really? So with it, that has been coming in, See, in great that. handy. See, yeah. I, that, yeah, I need to. You got to you got to get to that crafting bench because like it, yeah. there's a lot of gems in there, and not as far as like the guns and stuff. The guns mostly stuck unless you just really want them. Mm -hmm. But uh, like the mods that you get on there, and that's where. Uh, completing the projects, you get those mod blueprints and all that stuff. So the attachments that you can mod or whatever really come in handy because I've, okay. I've noticed you can't get them anywhere else in the game. Okay. And uh, with that, that that kills. You know what I'm saying? Because that reflex sight gets it done. I don't use scopes on any of my guns because they're too slow unless you quick scope. Are you a quick scoper? I know you don't bit. like the shotgun or yeah. not the uh, the sniper, sniper rifles. No, I'm trying to get into good snipers though because I found that I do need those in spots instead of just getting into quick the Quick scoping is good on that game. I ain't going to lie. Okay, but you got that attachment though too. Yeah, well, I don't use the reflex sight. Well, I, I don't really use the marking of the rifles anymore, but okay. um, I, I got an assault rifle and a submachine until I get my uh, chatterbox back. And uh, yeah, that, that assault back. rifle... That's crazy that we're on the same step, but go ahead. But, <laughs> <laughs> that assault rifle, though, I ain't gonna lie. That assault rifle might be better oh, than chatterbox. Is that a machine gun? No, it's, it, well, it's like a machine gun. Uh, I think it's like 50 in the clip. I think it's 40, and then I, I added an extendo on there, so okay. it's a 50-round clip in there. Okay. And it reloads really fast, but, man, I really be just mowing. Like, if you run towards this... Boom, he's down. Don't okay. matter. Gold, okay. purples, anybody. Anybody yeah. can get it. See, I, I just use I use a submachine and I use a uh I forget which one, like a assault rifle. 
Uh, long range. So I I use those two, but that submachine is like it's like 180 in the clip. Okay. But it's like, it's like do, 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 do. it's like the Terminator See, joint. See, for me the uh for me the machine guns or light machine guns on there uh are always tough because the stability is always oh, man. bad. They go like this. Like they bounce yeah, around all yeah, the time. Yeah. Where the assault rifles it's like it may, you may get a little kickback or you know what I'm saying the gun might raise a little bit, but it's mm-hmm. like if you do three shot bursts or whatever, you're good. Man, this, I'm getting all Call of Duty. Ain't my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you mean. These, these are Call of Duty days. I but, uh, but yeah, man, I, I've been having a lot of fun with that. I've actually, now that I don't really feel like I got a lot to do on the regular world map, I've been entering the dark zone. Oh, really? Yeah. Solo, How do you like it? Solo thug it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have you got any good loot from there? I haven't really got anything great from there. I've, okay. I've only maybe done maybe three or four drops from out of there and got them out successfully or whatever. Oh, did you? But it's been cool. Have yeah. you went rogue? No, I haven't gone rogue. I, I don't. For me, I, I never like to play the bad way because it's like I don't want to be a target and really? just, like that's no fun for me. Having everybody just trying to snipe down on my head. Uh-huh. I'm just here to get the loot, baby, and get up out of there. I get my kills. I get up out of there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and and being in there solo, most people ain't in there solo. So it's like, yo, if I go rogue, y'all are really on my oh, yeah. head. They gonna mull you. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it ain't really worth it for me. A lot of times they just see me running around. If I don't have no gear, if I'm not doing a call out, most people just leave me alone. So, okay, yeah. well, that's cool. Do you run into a lot of people in here? Uh, I do see a lot of people in there, yeah. Okay. A lot of people in Dark Zone. It's worth it. It's worth it. Okay. I'm going to check out because I haven't went in yet. Okay. I, I unlocked it. I still haven't done it. All right, man. So, internet service providers, they're looking to extort gamers under the anti-net new- neutrality laws. Yeah, man. Y'all need you to educate me on this. I'm a little bit in the dark. So, uh, I guess, uh, is it Comcast maybe? And if, if this is incorrect, if it's not Comcast, it's we doing don't this. Check. Yeah, I don't care. Mm-hmm. You know, you're no friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> they are going to start... Uh, they're going to start charging people, or they're they're going to add a feature for gamers uh, for an extra fifteen dollars a month. That's going to give you low latency, and what? Uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, low, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying, and improve your ping, and uh, just give you better connections and stuff like that. And this is going to be an added benefit. So you already know what the what the flip side of that means is like y'all about to screw them people over if they don't pay that extra. 15. Absolutely, because they can tell who's gaming and who's not. But my yeah. thing about that is though. Everyone, I say everyone, a lot of people are going through, they're trying to reinvent the, the laws of the internet now. I'm so when I say that, I mean like the streaming services. Everybody got a streaming service. This Disney streaming service is huge. Yeah. Um, that's coming. Everyone has a streaming service now. So everyone is using a lot of data in their home. So how can they tell someone's a data or a, I'm sorry, a gamer or just a person who streams a lot of Netflix or yeah. watches stuff? So the person who uses, you know, Netflix or uses, uh, any other app, whatever, they're gonna have to pay that too. If they want to, like you said, low latency type of thing. Yeah, that's crazy. Terrible. But listen, bro, what I'm starting to realize is, it's like, yo, they finally realized that the internet was the wild, wild west Absolutely. when there was a when there was a minority of people that were using the internet. Like, do you remember maybe like 10, 15 years ago? Like, the internet was so geeky. It was yeah. only for nerds. Like, yeah. oh my god, you use a computer. Yeah. I'm like, I would be t- like, I would be having conversations with uh, like my friends, my family members, and stuff like that because being super into computers or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they would always just be kind of looking at me like, I mean, I'm never going to need that. I'm like, are you dumb? Like, yeah, bruh, yeah. <laughs> this is the future. They're like, nah, man. I mean, I know how to do enough with it, but it's it's not it's not all like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bruh, you're not seeing the potential. Like, this is the future, man. Right. Not and now uses everybody it. uses yeah. it. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> like, can you imagine, like, 15 years ago, it was weird to, like, get a date online. And now people only oh, exclusively date exclusively. online. Yeah, they exclusively, exclusively date online. Like, there's so many. I wish we'd have come up with a dating app. We'd have, right. been, we'd have been billionaires by Right, now. been right on time. Yeah. But it's like, for people who didn't, like, I saw the turn early, bro. I saw the turn in the 90s. Yeah, so did I. I went to, I, I still remember the day, I went to my aunt's house. Um, I think she was living in Maryland at the time, and they had a computer. And they were the only people that I knew that had a computer in the house that I could actually play with mm-hmm. outside of, like, you know what I'm saying, being in school. And I remember going over there, man, and playing on the internet and going on, like, Nickelodeon.com or something like this. I mean, I was eight. Yeah, yeah, And uh, And being able to chat with people from across the world. And, I, and that was the moment I knew. I was like, you know what? This is something different. Different. Yeah, yeah, this is something completely different than anything else that we have right now. Like, TV is cool. All that stuff is cool. I am talking to a live person right now yeah. on the other side of the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, from that, and when, I, when I came back home from that vacation, I told my mom and dad, like, yo. I need a computer. Like, I, I need y'all to give me a computer. And shout out to y'all. Y'all held it down. Y'all got it for me for my birthday. That that same year, y'all got it for me. That's so dope. thank you. But uh, yeah, and this back when they were still stupid expensive. Really? <laughs> yeah. I actually got That's how I got my dad into PCs. Like when I got my computer, then of course he, you know what I'm saying? He was the one that kind of had to maintain it. I didn't really know what I was doing. Right, I was right. just learning. Uh-huh. He was the kind of person that had to maintain it for me. And he got really into it. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's like, yo. 
they they everybody slowly figured it out. So yeah. now it's become this huge thing. Well, now companies they're figuring it out. Like, hey man, we got to civilize the wild wild west. Right, right. And or at least monetize it. Well, ex- well, and and they realize everything is moving away from the traditional platform. So cable TV is dying. Yes, and it's all going to the internet. Like uh, people aren't uh, people aren't going to the store anymore. We're ordering from Amazon. Right. They're like, yo, listen, we got to figure a way to put a wrangle on this. We this is where all the information is. We can't get it from them out in the street anymore. It's on their phone. Right. And yeah, so now everybody's trying to you know what I'm saying fifteen dollars. That's crazy. Bro, I, I I long for the good old days, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish people still thought computers were nerdy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, like yeah, you were yeah. a complete dork if you knew about computers, oh, wow. if you like to use them. It's like, yeah, yeah, man. You don't. But the people who knew, the people who knew, <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's on and rocking over here. Well, I think, uh, shoot, I think, I mean, as much as we praise based Apple, I think they were the they were the ones who kind of streamlined it. For they us, did. They made know? it accessible for everybody, which yeah. was smart. Yeah, definitely. But oh man, yeah. I, I I long for the good old days. Like man. Oh, I still remember having like a CD burner when they first came oh. out. Oh, learning learning how to like rip CDs, and then Napster came out. Oh, oh Lord. I just want to say the Napster. Name. Lord Jesus, bro, do you know how much money I made in high school burning CDs because all, everybody else was too dumb to figure out how. Bro. To, like uh, they yes. thought I was, they thought it was like wizardry. Yes, like oh my God. Yes, they you, definitely you can, did, man. I, I had a homeboy who was, uh, he stayed in the hood. Like he, you know, <laughs> he, he, he did his, you know, things, and he would come and flip. We would flip CDs. I never forget. I never um, forget selling uh, the blueprint. Yeah, I sold it like it was like allegedly, I, allegedly. allegedly yeah. I, will, I just yeah. provided them to him, and he did things with them. But, yeah. um, but yeah, like just having that, like you said, people thought I was a genius. Like Xbox three hundred and sixty games, I was like the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, like you know? bro, you would blow people's minds oh, with man. that. Kind of, it, it always cracked me out too because it's like, yo, then you became like the homeboy who understands computers. Like, they <laughs> yeah. come to you for everything. <laughs> that part I hated. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got. I, I got y'all's job. That part I hated. Like, yeah, I would tell I my because my barber, my friend Speedy, so I just Speedy, who's a barber. The barber shop was like the spot. They come in and they would see him playing stuff, <laughs> yeah. you know, or they show, you know, he'd be playing some things. Like, man, how'd you get this? I mind you, we would get the games early, uh-huh. you know what I mean, or get the music early. Yeah. So it'd be like, okay, how did he do this? How did he do that? And then you became the plug. I became El Plaga. Yeah, bro, but but it would drive you crazy. Oh, it drive me completely nuts. It's like, yo, listen, if, if you if you were looking to procure items from me, cool. Mm-hmm. But then you want me to show you the way, and it's like I could show you the way. Yeah, I, then, I could but absolutely I'm show you the way. Well, not even that. I, uh, oh, is it gonna take too long? Too. Yeah, if, that was that was really the biggest point. Cause yeah. it's like for me, I really didn't care. It's like I'll mm-hmm. show you how to do it. Mm-hmm. Whatever, no, not a big deal. But the thing I've is, done that too. you're never gonna get it. No. <laughs> that's the biggest problem because you're no. not gonna listen to me when I'm no, telling you. No, you're this. not. Or when it goes when it goes south, you're not gonna know what to do. To, yeah. for to to get you're it. You're not gonna put it in that side of the work. Absolutely. Which I never yeah. understood why people did the Cody thing like that. Because I'm like that would be a complete headache. I'm not flipping these. I'm oh, not no. doing that because yeah, no, no. you know, and that kind of slowed down too. And it, it's still up there. People just don't want to do the, the legwork. Yeah, I they think. don't want to do the backside yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, absolutely you're, not. You're man. absolutely oh man, that used to be the worst when people would like come to me like they were telling me about something new and it'd be like You know what I found yeah. to do when, when some people do that now? <laughs> I literally just hush up. Like I just let, let them get it out. I'm like, oh that's cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll exactly it. I'd be like <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. very nice. I get nothing out of telling you that I've been knowing how to do that, or I, for I, years. Yeah, for years. Yeah, you know, like for years. I don't, I don't get anything out of it. Like yeah. news, I tried to explain one of my homeboys' news groups one day, yeah. and uh, it was literally like he thought I was trying to tell him how to get how to make a baby because <laughs> it was. Like, I could see the confusion on his face, and he. This is a guy who thought he was technical savvy, uh-uh. um, but nah, man. Just because you know how to work for a MySpace page. No, <laughs> just because you can update your Facebook status. Bro. Yeah. This is a lot different. This is some. This is something else. It is. Something but but you think about it. Though Kev is like the internet has always been the Wild Wild West. It will continue yeah. to be the Wild Wild. Well, West. no, they're they are trying to bring civilization. No, to the they're Wild trying Wild to. But there's no way they can shut it down. Oh, they can. They're yeah. going. They're going to put a price this, tag on it. Uh, the anti-net neutrality stuff, bro. Yeah, like it, it's it's about to be like China. Well, <laughs> yo, I'll laugh about it, but you might be right. Um, the thing that they can that I hope they don't do, which I. East Coast is really big. It's putting data caps on ISPs. Oh yeah! If they do that, internet's over. Bro, the internet was such a like. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, back in the good old days when it was just for the nerds. Oh, oh man, man. That, I was I was thriving. Yeah, I was thriving in those moments. As much as a, of a headache as it would be, like when people are, like, bro, could you give me the newest? Like I could. Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. but I could. That's kind of what started my Plex server. Yeah. Like I would just like give access to close friends and things, and then because like, they would like, can you can I can you put this movie on my phone or can you burn me this? I'm like, no, bro, I'm not burning a. CD. You know, and the, and and that's the part that nobody ever <laughs> understands is it's like, yo, 
I, even though I could, yeah. I don't really want to. Oh. <laughs> like you got it's one of those things you got to put in your own work, you man. You do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can teach you. I could try to teach you or I could yeah. try to show you and where I you prefer need to, go. to do that. Absolutely. I would like to do that. You're right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what got me though. Is when people like when I did, you know, in my college days flip some CDs, people mm-hmm. would come with the lists. Oh, and man. they would say I want this song here, this song here. I said, I'm yeah, not this, doing that's, that. that's I'm not doing that. Yeah, you know, I'm not doing that. you go get you go get it the way I'm giving it to you. Go step off. Absolutely. I don't make mixed CDs. I'm not a DJ. All right. I do not do not create things up. <laughs> oh my god, that was the nastiest time, man! Oh man, I had a homeboy who I worked, worked at Lucent as a factory. Uh-huh. He came with a list of songs he wanted. He wanted a particular <laughs> order, and then I made it. Okay, happen. hold on, I oh, made you it. Did I, it. I made it. I made it. Well, this, this, he ruined it for everybody. So I made it one time, uh-huh. and then like it skipped or something. I might use some low quality disc. I don't remember. Whatever. I might have burned it too high. I don't. Know. I don't care, bro. He came back to me with the disc in hand and said, "Yeah, I need uh, another one because this song skips." I gave him his five dollars back. I said, "You ever talk to me again?" <laughs> right, it's get like out of my face. It's like, bruh, this is not really worth my time. Absolutely you know, not. If, it, if man. it was something that I wanted, yeah, I'd be all about it, man. Yeah, and I, you know what? And this is why I know how to do it because this is what I wanted. Absolutely. But if it's something that you want, <laughs> I don't like the incentive for me to care. Just right. Ugh, That's why know? I never got into modding systems because I really like. I love. Like handhelds, you don't know that, um, mm-hmm. and modding them and stuff like that. And I thought about it, that'd be a good little thing to do to flip some yeah. some modded handhelds. But then I'm like, that would get me right into the same DaVinci code again with someone would say, oh, it didn't work. No, you just updated and I told you not to do it. Right. And, and that, that's that was the, always the worst part is it's like, yo, listen, I would tell you, I would give you very specific <laughs> very instructions. Specific, yeah. And then you just go outside of it. And then I got to be your tech support. Oh, no, no. I ain't going to do no. it. Uh-uh. Nah, like no, nah. I don't want to be tech support. Bro, I, I listen. I'll just tell you it's broke. I'm like, oh, well, it's broke then. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'll, fix it. I was good for telling somebody a patch happened. Listen, I'm, I'm listen. Yeah. It's, it's just done. It's over. Yeah. You knew the risk. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, why does yours still work? Yeah. I don't know. Like okay, like okay. People thought I was crazy. Like for the 360 days, right? You had to patch the game so that way when you played them online, mm-hmm. it would think that you know it was an original good copy and Xbox couldn't flag you. So then people would go like, okay, well I'm not gonna get my I got my games from the homeboy down the street. Well, homeboy down the street didn't do what I did, which was patch the game. So yeah. your system got flagged, and you're coming back to me like, "Damn, my system broke, man." Well, nothing. Nothing. It's over. You should have listened to what I told yeah, you. Yeah. So and, and yeah, and that that all comes right back around full circle as to why I don't want to do it. No, no, for no, you. no. I, that's what I got done. Because you know, I I did all the research. I actually understand how this stuff works for oh, the most part. For the most part, you know, uh, like I don't I, I don't know how the uh, the the he me glitch works. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't know how they figured that out. Yeah. I just know it works. Yeah. But you know what? I did all the recon to figure out how do I set it up and how do I keep it working? Right. You exactly. know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna set it up for you and then you mess up the account and be like, hey, yeah. can you do it again for me? No. No. Not, not, not at a all. chance. Because my thing was I was always just getting rid of I was always flipping things that I had. So it'd be a copy of a game, it'd be something that I wanted. Yeah. So like you want it. And you want to give me X amount of dollars for it? Cool. Sure. Yeah. I'll do it. Give you a copy of it and keep it moving. But when you try to go into Jerome down the street and undercut, stink you're undercutting me because I really don't care about the money like right. that. Right. It, it was really more so about my time. Absolutely. Yeah. And the love of the tech. That's yeah. all. And that's the thing about it, too. Cats just want to find the loophole. Yeah. You know, they want to find the hole in the fence. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the that's work. That's a whole other issue. We could do a whole pot on that. Absolutely. But um, but no, they trying to add $15 a month for it, man. The sad part about it is some people are going to have to pay it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hopefully we're not one of them. We'll figure out a way. Oh, we'll figure. We out always that. do. The internet has yeah, been I'll good to us VPN. all these years. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say <laughs> the internet has been very good to us all these years. Absolutely, we'll find a way. Yeah. It's See, fine. and that's the thing about it. The people who know will know. You know, yeah. the people that don't, they're gonna pay the fifteen and keep it moving, you know not I mean? knowing they're getting fleeced the whole time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. hey man, the way that the world's got to be. That's an interesting story though. Yeah. All right, man. So the Sonic movie came out. The trailer, I should say. So the trailer dropped. Um, and the internet went nuts mm-hmm. for the and the reason. Okay, so my thing about it all is the movie looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, the movie looks oh, actually no. pretty. Well, the the concept of it looks pretty yeah. cool. Sonic comes back, he's saving the world. After that, the concept of everything is when it went south. First of all, when did, when did Sonic get teeth? When did he get regular Sonic teeth, never bro? Had teeth? I think he had teeth, but he didn't have regular teeth like me. First of all, when did he get fur? That's that's what yes. I Yes, when did he get fur? Sonic was smooth. Bro, a hedgehog yeah. don't got fur. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I, I do like that. The fact that Jim Carrey is going to be Dr. Robotnik. I ain't feeling that. I, Dr. Uh, doc, first of all, Dr. Eggman needs to be looking like an egg. I don't Eggman. know who this little skinny guy right. is. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes and Lord. He needs to be fat. Yeah. Keep it and, true to form. Not even just fat. He's got to have an egg-shaped body with little pencil legs. Yes. I accept nothing less. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. The mustache was the only thing really that reminded me that he was Eggman. Yeah, exactly. That Maybe was the only Eggman's thing close. Cousin. Maybe, Maybe this isn't the real Eggman. Maybe okay. this is like Sonic the prequel. We don't know. Okay, I can Maybe that's not that. even Sonic. 
It don't look like Sonic. Nah, hell no. The so no much so that the director was like, yo, listen, <laughs> we heard the feedback. Oh my God. We are going to change it. Don't worry. That. Hold on. Now, 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 that we have to give an applaud to. The fact that he heard the feedback, no, like, okay, it looks kind of corny. That Sonic, no, that thing looks scary. Oh, very scary. That was like nightmare. No, I mean, I showed, like... it to, I showed it to uh, Khalees, and she was like, man, what's that? Like, she, got a, she got scared by it. Like, yeah. It scared me, so I can imagine. Like, it scared her, what, like, hard. What was, the little, uh, what was the little thing on YouTube a couple of months ago that was uh, scaring all the kids? Scared oh, all the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, we don't got to say the name. Yeah, I won't say But the you name. know what I'm talking about. That's what that yeah. Sonic looked like. Bro, it was scary looking. I said, whoa, what's that? Yeah. But I like when you see the big blue flame go by, he's running real fast. That was dope. As Genesis fans, we can appreciate that. Yeah. But they got to do it right. They got to do Sonic right, especially when you get Pikachu a decent movie. Now I'm hearing good things about that Pikachu. Really? I, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing that Pikachu. They got movie. An 84 on Rotten Once Tomatoes. it's available on the Plex server. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Plex server. I ain't going to pay no money. I'm not going to movie. I can't, yeah. be a, I can't be a grown man and go see that. Oh, man. Like, I, can't even wait. Even I cannot wait till we get to the end of this podcast. <laughs> we got a discussion we got to have, and you're not going to like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a scared now. Yeah. I'm a little scared. All right. We'll, we'll get to that later. Yeah. All right, man. But Sonic movie, they're going to fix it. It looks okay. I'm glad to hear that they're going to fix it. Please, just just make... We don't care about Sonic looking realistic. No. Make him as cartoony as you need yes. to. Make him nice and smooth and bright and make him fast. What? That's all we have. Yo, asked. Space Jam was a good movie. Your movie. You yeah. always love Space Jam. Just make it cartoon and put him in our world. Yeah. Just I'm do that. Totally cool with that. Yeah. It, totally makes, cool the, with it makes the actors, um, you know, do a little overhaul because he's not really there. But shoot, Michael Jordan could do it. Anybody can do it. My, just don't try to make him look like a real animal. Nah, just, man. Just give us the cartoon character that we liked already. Yeah, man. For it's real. all good. That's all we want. Yeah. That's it, gaming news. Hey, man. That Ain't was nothing enough. going on. Hey, man. listen, that uh, the uh, the extortion fee that got us off on a good tangent for gaming. So yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, well, that's man. all y'all feel about that though. That's really a big thing. That's really that, a story. I'm glad you put it in here because that's big news, man. That that really is. And I mean, for me, it was just like, man, this is a sign of things to come. If, I hope uh, it's if, not. If people don't kind of get in the way of this. Well, the thing is, the internet just got too popular, man. Like, yeah. like do you remember, like, cable used to be way more expensive than Well, that, I'm telling you, that's the thing that people are, not people, but cable companies are tight. That's a billion-dollar industry, trillion-dollar mm -hmm. industry that's going down the tubes because everything's a la carte now. Yeah. But, I mean, like, now, everything's at our fingertips. Like, traditional cable or traditional, traditional I'm sorry, TV is gone. Yeah. Think about it. When have you ever, lately, lately or the last couple of years, have you sat down and watched a TV show on the time it came on? Uh, unless it's like a basketball game. Well, don't yeah, really that's happen. the only thing. Yeah. Live sports, yeah, is, live sports thing. is about it. Yeah. That's it, because it starts at a certain time. You don't want to get it spoiled. You want to watch it live. Yeah. Other than that, I watch all my shows pretty much after I DVR. On demand. Or on demand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, Game of Thrones, it comes on at 9, but I don't have to watch it right then and there. Right. It's just available right then and there. Oh, I got to watch it. Oh, I will watch it. Yeah. We'll <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Later. 9 o'clock on the dot. Yeah, on, on the dot. And yeah. and when, Matter of fact, 8.58. Oh, absolutely. When the run time. Is past the time, like your time has started, you know, deer, deer is done. Yeah. Because I've watched it at nine. I'm talking about <laughs> nine, 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 eight, five, nine, nine, oh, one, nine o'clock. I need it. I need it. All right, man. So the rumors are saying the Lakers are the top contender to get Kyrie. Yeah, man. Ugh, dude. Here's the thing that I uh, I wonder about with Kyrie, because I'm glad we, 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 we are bringing him up. I don't know if he would be good on the Lakers. He'd be great on the Lakers. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if it's going to happen just because Kyrie is a very headstrong dude. Yeah. And I think that their struggles in Boston right now, he might re-up for it. I just got to hope for some slander to come in Boston. They throw eggs at him or something, throw bananas on the court because that would <laughs> force him out, you know, because if uh, they're in trouble. They are. They are in very deep trouble. Um, but it's Boston not because is. of Kyrie. It's not because, but he is going to get the blame. And every time. I know he, they will. Because, well, you know what, he, he has so far, but. Man, if you if you really want to, you know but no, they're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, they're not Jason Tatum. Yeah, they're not gonna talk about him. Yeah, you got to swing that back. Bro, around, they're not. I saw that article awful. too. He's been god awful. Yeah, he's been all, all year though. Kobe ruined him. <laughs> I, I believe it, Kev. I, I seriously, I believe. Mom mentality don't work for everybody, huh? You got to have it up here, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think that's what Kyrie was trying to get through to them. Is like, too yo, young. yeah, but it, you know, it, they won without him. And that's what really I told you from the get go, man. They didn't win anything without. No, him. they didn't win anything. But they, <laughs> you know what I'm they, they, they did they made well. It farther, yeah. They did well without him, and yeah. they went up against Thanos and LeBron. Yeah. And like, but they still lost. Yeah. But they saying. were like, "We could do this without you." No, you cannot. No. No, you cannot. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, man, I just uh, Kyrie going to L.A. I would love it just for him and Bron to come back. 
Ty, Ru- you know, Ty Lue is in the um, in the runnings for uh, coming and being the coach of the, of the Lakers. I read an article that Kyrie and uh, Ty, T- uh, Kyrie didn't like Ty Lue. Really? Yeah. They said he treated him like a stranger. Well, Ty Lue's out there. But, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, They're like oh, we can let Kyrie Throw it to the wayside immediately. <laughs> no nah, man, Kyrie, who do you want? Exactly. LeBron, we ain't trying to hear that right exactly. now. Exactly. Well, you know what, Bron- <laughs> we gave you your shot, Bron- <laughs> Bron- And I hate, I do don't, I do, I do not like the narrative that LeBron is like we're glossing over how good he is because he's not in the playoffs this year. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about that too, but shoot, getting a landing a big KD. fish like Kyrie, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? You think he should go? Uh, or would you like to see him go to the Lakers? I, I, would I like to see Kyrie? I, you know, I really don't care. Yeah. I, I just want to watch Kyrie uh, do what he does. Um, yeah. if he stays with the Celtics, I'm cool with that. Uh, if he goes to the Knicks and uh, teams up with KD, that's the move. I'm, I'm really cool with that. Yeah, uh, I would like and to if he that. goes to the Lakers, I'm cool with that, even though I do kind of wonder what happens to Lonzo because I like Lonzo, I do like Lonzo yeah. too. I like the Lakers in general. I like their team. If they can, um, I do now. I do think that Brandon Ingram needs a proper Caesar. I do because he has those little the struggle braids with the little beads on the end. I don't know if that's a block or not. Mm. Um, I like Kuzma. Yeah, you know, I like the young team they have. I like Kyrie more with that team than I like him with the Celtics. The Celtics suck, bro. That team's bad. What is their issue? Jason Tatum's not good. Jalen, wow, and you're right. I can't. I'm sorry. People don't want to talk about it. Jalen Brown has been better. Than Jason Tatum this year, yeah, and, and mean, for a solid month, he's been literally like doubling his stats. He's Jason Tatum had four points the first game, five points the second game. Yeah. So much so in the third game, he had sixteen or seventeen. They applauded it, but it was like in spurts. He had like eight at the half. Or something. It, was, it wasn't enough to uh, really impact the game at all. And it was like, yo, when you needed buckets, he couldn't get them. He couldn't get them. Yeah. He was struggling. He was bailout shot. That's the thing that gets me about certain players. Like Kyrie can come down, do his razzle dazzle thing, and he'll miss a long jumper. And it's like, okay, you got to kind of live with that. That's the type of game he plays because he's going to hit those later in the game too. Right. Jason Tatum comes down. He's literally five inches taller than the guy that's guarding him. He'll do a bailout fall away. Yeah. Like as a player, as a defender, you got to hope for that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You for real. Like you, you play ball. You know how it is. If somebody yeah. do a fadeaway, like bro, okay, you make that. You deserve it. My thing is too is like, yo, I think uh, I think Tatum kind of needs to look at Giannis's uh, glow up plan. And and maybe maybe you need to pack on the weight, get a little bit bigger, because it's like you're tall enough to be a power forward. You play the small forward position, so that means that you should have a mismatch all the time. You've got range, you got speed or whatever. It's mm-hmm. just maybe you're not strong enough. That's my best guess, is that you're just not strong enough to overpower people and just get to the rack. But last year you were dunking all on LeBron and flexing. So, yeah. you know, where's that dunk on Giannis? Yeah. Dunk on Giannis and flex. No. Jalen Brown did the dunking on Giannis. And that's what tells me that we- one thing about this series, um, the Celtics and uh, Boston, I mean, the Boston and the Bucks, it lets me know that a lot of these analysts don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> when when Paul Pierce is on there, he can't. Paul Pierce might be taking uh, Chris Webber's spot as the worst analyst in, uh, <laughs> in basketball right now. Bro. Well, After game one, when they lost, when the Bucks lost, he came on, oh, the Bucks are done. I don't know what they're going to do. They got to tear everything down. Who knows if Giannis should be the MVP, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. And literally the second game, they blew the doors off the Celtics. And the third game, they blew the doors off the Celtics. And we haven't heard Paul Pierce talk about it since. He's becoming like a laughing joke. He's, t- he's sticking with his uh, Celtics and six. Bit. Man, he needs to stop it. He needs yeah. to get and quit trying to let his beard connect because it never did when he was playing. <laughs> um, he got stabbed all those times. He did. Yeah. In a leather coat. Yeah. The fact he had a leather coat, like we got to, well, I ain't going to salute the stabber, but the fact that he got it through the leather coat, that was yeah. pretty impressive. Hey, man. But whatever. Listen, that, that was hate. That was hate. Yeah. They, they stabbed that man in the face. Yeah. That, you don't like somebody you stab him in the face. Please don't ever stab me in the face. Right. It wasn't even a buck 50. Nah, it, it was, was just a stab. stab. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, it was, damn, we're laughing ugh, at this. <laughs> like, yeah, so, I mean, that was, that's, a, that's a Game of Thrones type yeah, stuff yeah, right there. He stabbed him in the face. That's crazy. Um, but no, the uh, the Celtics are in a, in a they're and Charles Barkley said it best, man. He said, as soon as Giannis figures this out, they're in trouble. Yeah, and he's figured it out. And right now, he's putting so much pressure on the defense that the refs. I don't know if all those calls in Game Three were. You know, I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, for all those calls that Giannis gets, man, like. LeBron should have been getting them calls for years. But we already know why that is the case, though, man. No, no, I'm saying. No, it's true. You got to start treating Giannis like you treat LeBron then. They're not going to. Oh, they're going to have to The reason why is because Giannis doesn't play a lot of bully ball like like LeBron did. How doesn't he? That's that's what his whole game is. He has no finesse. He's doing blow-bys. I mean, that's cool, but I mean, he's powering to the rim just the same. Brown was doing pound and ground and pound though. Yeah, I mean he would do the back down. Yeah. All that, yeah. And they would call like basically they were saying he was inflicting the, the contact so it would be a no call. Yeah. Whereas Giannis, you know, plus we haven't got through the Giannis fatigue yet. We, yeah. we went through the, the LeBron fatigue. That's true. You so in saying? the next couple of years that started yeah, start it'll, it'll treating all him like that. Absolutely. LeBron. Mike yeah. got it. But you know? like seeing his game and I'm like, yo, listen, he has no outside game. 
He doesn't really have much of a mid range no, game. No, no, that. Terrible from the free throw line. The only thing that he really can do is get to the rack, get layups, and get dunks. Well, I mean, he went eight for thirteen in the shooting and ended with thirty three yesterday. Yeah. Um. So he did okay free throw. I think like like. No, I, uh, no. Nah, from the line, I think, uh, man, he missed a ton of shots from really? the line. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, even besides besides all that, you're right. I guess you know, going with that narrative, but the Celtics have no answer for him. Yeah, they don't, and it's just because they don't have enough size to match. Horford tries his best, but then he'll get into foul trouble. Then you know, what I'm saying you got to kind of back off. Markeith Morris, he's not big enough, or is it Marcus or Markeith on the team? Know. I don't. They're probably the same. They're person. the same person. Yeah. As far as I, person, yeah. listen, if they were smart. They would uh they would switch out between games just yeah. to make sure that they're staying fresh on you the floor. You think they haven't done that? I don't know. I think, I think they have. This, I think they have matching tattoos and everything. So yeah, it's like they look exactly alike and yeah. the same tattoos. Yeah, so absolutely. it's like yeah, yeah, that'd be smart. I would. Be fresh legs on the floor, man. Yeah, all the time. Absolutely, man. Could you imagine that they're like, man, he's down with an uh, with an ACL tear, like. Somehow he bounced back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I gotta think it's gonna happen. I think it was a couple of years ago. One of them got hurt, and um. You know, you could tell them a difference because they both they have different personalities. Yeah, like the one that's on the Celtics is more animated. Yeah, then the, the other one's kind of laid back. Um, so I guess they could they probably can act the same though. They probably yeah, know I'm sure to they do know that. the mannerisms to uh, get get where you want to be. Yeah, but a couple years ago, one of them got hurt, and uh-huh. then he was like, he just better. And I, I, I to this day, I believe that they swapped. Each they, other. Just swapped. <laughs> they just swapped. They just swapped. It changed like, places. Yeah, like, yeah. his yeah. brother called the red eyes. Like I got you. You know, like, <laughs> like I'm gonna come and I got you. Because he started posting though. He's like, he's doing the amazing things. Like, no, that's not him. Hey man, it's not the same person. Do what you gotta do. Yeah man, you do man. Yeah. Keep the family legacy going. Keep getting them checks. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Jura did. Yeah, House Mormont. That's right. You know, actually no, that that's over with. That <laughs> oh, family yeah, legacy. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk about yeah, that. It's our friend zone. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Celtics are in trouble, man. They if they don't win the next game, it's a wrap. Because they're not winning in, in uh, Milwaukee. Yeah. And that's the thing. I don't think that they can miraculously They're going to get an, at least another one. You think so? Yeah. Celtics will get at least one more. The next one? Uh, it's going to have to be, the, be next the next one. No, it's going to be just be down 3-1. And then game five or whatever, they'll fight and, you know what I'm saying, they'll get one. I just don't one. see it happening. You don't think so? No, nah, I just don't see them waking up one day. Like, they got to figure a lot out. I mean, they figured them out the first game and they got to win or whatever. And even, even that game three or whatever, they came close. Like, it was the third quarter. Yeah. That third quarter was just it. They, they were, I'm saying, uh, I want to say beginning of the fourth quarter, they were only down maybe like seven points or yeah. whatever. And then yeah. they just started getting blown out. And then they even came back at the end of the right. game yep. and yep. brought it to, brought it back close. But it, it just wasn't enough time now at that point. So I think that, I think that they'll be smart enough to adjust. But it's really going to kind of come down to how are the refs going to call this game? Because if Giannis just keeps on getting ticky tack fouls anytime, and I mean, some of them are just, some of them are justified, but at the same time, some of them, it's like, if Harden ain't getting these fouls, Giannis don't deserve them neither. But the thing that is different between Harden, I think, and and Giannis, Giannis does some flopping and some, when he he decides, I'm just going to bully ball. And then the ref just calls it. He initiates contact just like Harden does. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a lot, I know a lot of people rag on Harden for flopping or whatever, but it's not so much that he flops. I mean, he does flop sometimes. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times what he does is he he makes defenders look like they're making mistakes. So, like, he might move into your arm or whatever, so that way he gets the contact on his arm when he's going up for a shot. Yeah. And you get called for a foul. And it's like, well, how do I play any better defense? It's like... Hey man, he's just he's smart, he's crafty. Right. And Giannis is doing the same things. A lot of times, like he's when he goes into the post or when he goes into his gather, he sticks his arms all the way forward oh, while he's yeah. down here. Yeah. And then with both arms extended, he lifts them up. Yeah. So if you're standing there like this with your hands up or whatever, and he lifts his arms up into you while he's jumping, yeah, they're gonna whistle you. For and that. another thing too, we got to give credit to is the coaching because Milwaukee's coach pretty much would. He was dictating a lot of those foul calls. He was yeah. telling the ref, like, yo, look, I can hear him from the bench, like, screaming at the ref, telling him what he's about to do. And sure enough, he would do it, and it would be a foul. And you see the Celtics players throw their arms up and like, oh, my God. But listen, if he's doing a sweep and go, get yeah. your arms out of there. But, I mean, then how do you defend? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that was always a conundrum with Jordan. Same thing with KD. Well, Jordan had an unstoppable move, though. And yeah. it's like, yo, that fadeaway, once Jordan perfected that, it was like, okay, you can't guard this, so, you know, you just kind of have to live with it. Yeah. But Giannis's move isn't unguardable. It's just like, yeah, okay, you know. I mean, literally. Because he's not a shooter. Is, yeah, only thing <laughs> I can say is put your arms behind your back and hope for the, you know, move your hips. I don't know. And at what point is the offensive player initiating contact, you know what I'm saying, either just going to be a no call or is it going to go the other way? I think they got some real tough issues when it comes to officiating. That is, a, is one. And the other one is for Harden. And um, is yeah. when you shoot a jumper and you go to box out, 
where is the space that you're allowing him to jump? Because Harden yeah. is jumping into somebody. Yeah, he jumps in. <laughs> so that's like the been the contract. Like, what do you where do you stand on that? Like, is it a foul or isn't it? Uh, that one's tough because it's like, okay, that didn't used to be a foul until Bruce Bowen started uh, abusing <laughs> it, sliding his feet under people and and uh, uh-huh. taking out people's ankles. That's how he hurt Kobe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Bruce Bowen, he actually made them change the rule. Well, now that the rule is the other way. The uh, players are like, okay, let I me mean, take advantage of this. Zaza and, and Kawhi last year or two yep. years ago. Yep, that's right. You know? That's right. So uh, that that's going to be a sticky one. And yeah. I, I do think that uh, maybe maybe they're just better off like, okay, listen, if you jump forward or whatever, if the defender is in one place and they don't move and you jump forward, that's on you. Now, if you jump straight up and the defender ends up moving under you, that's on the defender. That's okay. the only way I can see that you call How do you that. do that in such a – small sample like you're going to see that 50 or 60 times in a game especially with Houston they're cho- you know chucking threes like that yeah so how do you I mean you can you can tell I mean if, if your feet move or they don't you know what I'm saying easy to yeah. tell so it's like as a defender I think that you have to get position once that shot goes up you have to just kind of first of all as a defender once a person the ball is out of their hands if you didn't block it you have no reason to move anywhere other than towards the basket like right. you have no reason to be going back towards them so Hey, listen, at that point, you got to just be feet flat on the floor or you got to be moving away from the, the offensive player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because so. if you, you think about it, if you jump, if it's someone, if, the, if, the, if you're shooting and you're a defender going to defend, if you touch them or anywhere, damn, that's a foul. Yeah, exactly. You like know? while they're in the air, they're, you know what I'm saying, uh, they have given themselves up or whatever, just like in football. Yeah, like yeah. once a receiver gives themselves up, you ain't supposed to, you know what I'm saying, be cracking them at that True. point. You know, True. there's no point in it. True. So, yeah. 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 And you got guys like Katie who's seven foot. I mean, there's nothing you could do with that. Exactly. And and, and the thing is, is, like, well, you weren't going to block the shot. And, I mean, once he gets it off, there's no reason to really go into his body. I mean, I, I get the kind of uh, the mental side of it where it's like, well, maybe if I go into his body, he'll think about it the next time exactly. he's going to take a shot. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the thing is, he won't. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, yeah. Everybody's kind of gotten hit to that. And, no, they won't. As a matter of fact, they're going to try to make you do it and get you in foul trouble, get you off the floor. Have we got to a point where guys are so skilled that this type of stupid stuff is – only way you can compete against a guy, like elite scorers like that? Yeah, I think that that right now this is why we see these high scoring games the way that uh, that we have is like, oh, people know how to knock it down. And Steph ruined the game. He was right when he said that. Once the three point shot became so vital to all these teams, I mean, outside of Giannis and what he does going down through the paint, it's not like Giannis is putting up a ton of points. I mean, he's putting up 29, 31, which is great scoring. It's not. I don't think the scoring is the biggest thing. I think it's just the pressure on the defense well, and the foul calls. Ex- well, and then outside of that, all the three-point shooting. Milwaukee was the, yeah, the second-leading three-point shooting true. team in the league behind yeah. Houston. It's yeah. like, yo, everybody is chucking all the time. So it's like Giannis going downhill, and then you just got nothing but snipers around him. Yeah, true. I mean, that's kind of the, the fact, though, that they, the reason why Boston's having so much of a problem, they are literally staying out on the three-point shooters. But yeah. at that point, you got this big seven foot gazelle doing a euro That's step just charging yeah and you can't stop it exactly you know it's like he got the full lane because no one's in the lane yeah you know so it's like you got horford who's guarding him you yeah. take him away from the bucket i mean he two one dribble he's dunking you know what uh if, if if i'm the celtics the only way i think that they can get Kyrie to stay is if they're able to land anthony davis and honestly, at this point, I'd be willing to give up the house for him because it's like, yo, that's what you're going to need to compete at this point. But you point. know what, though? I think if they do that, it would help them Yeah, oh. because it would get rid of a lot. I mean, it would give an opportunity to some of those guys that are on the, the young guys who are on the bench who want to get more playing to get a payday and those type of things. And then also it would just I think they are falling victim to too much talent right now. No, or I don't too think much. So. Play, too many players. They feel have talent. I yeah, should say. I was going to say, because it's yeah. like, yo, outside of Kyrie, um, everybody's expendable. I mean, uh, Al Horford's been pretty solid. Outside of that, been, I, I don't really know who's that talented on that team anymore. Tatum is, yeah, man. he's hit or miss. My, uh, my, Gordon uh, Hayward's getting better. He's getting better. With my, he had nine points the other night. Yeah, like Rozier, he's not a factor. No, uh, Jalen Brown, he's we, not. Yeah. He's a role player. He's not a factor. He's a Mon Shumper. But see the thing, he is a <laughs> damn. Um, I, the Mon Shumper was a good player. He for was, a long time. but I would be more kind to keep Jalen Brown before I keep any of those other guys. At least he shows dog. He's going to play hard regardless. Uh, I feel like Jason Tatum has more tools in his bag. He does. But um, I feel what you, but, but I feel in what you fight, mean. In, in a, a yeah. gunfight, who are you going to take right yeah. now? Yeah, you're right about that. You know that. what I'm saying? You're I'm right taking that, that. I'm taking that uh, Jalen Brown, man. It, see, and, and that's where it gets tricky because it's like, yo, in Jason Tatum, you see all the qualities of a guy who could be a star. Yeah. But right now, he's still at that point in his career where he's he's basically Brandon Ingram, but, where it's like, yo, you've got all the tools, but you don't really know how to use them. But that's the thing, though, Kev. We've seen Jason Tatum before. Yeah. We've seen him. You know, we've seen... You when know, he's great. 
Yeah. No, no, I'm saying we've seen a player like him. We've seen yeah. Vince Carter. We've seen, like you said. No, uh, like, I even th- like, I mean, you can't teach his size. No. And, and he can shoot, and he's, you know what I'm saying, he's oversized for his right. position, and he's fast. I, but it's like he don't know how to put that together for whatever reason. For whatever reason, Kobe must have ruined him. My, yeah, I'm The mom mentality might have poisoned him early. He tried to, he tried to <laughs> upload his, uh, his, consciousness, his, his consciousness to him. To a weaker <laughs> being. Yes. And this is what happens, It was man. the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> it would kill a weaker being. Yeah, man. Yeah. He wasn't powerful enough. You saw what happened to Hulk. Yeah. Um, which we're going to get an end game here. I hope y'all seen end games. We're going to spoil it. We're going to spoil it. Yeah. We're gonna talk well, about when that. we get there, we'll let you know. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, man. So 76ers, they're, uh, they're up 2-1 two, two to one versus uh, Toronto. Mark Jackson says Joel Embiid might be the greatest center of all Mark time. Mark Jackson is talking nonsense. So listen, when he said it, Van Gundy Van Gundy called him on it <laughs> yeah, immediately like, nuts. have you lost your mind? <laughs> like, like, how dare you? That, that pointed to the relationship that they have because yeah. he checked him immediately. Oh, yeah. Man, don't you ever disrespect Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaquille O'Neal. He racked off Patrick Ewing, all these Patrick big Ewing. Patrick Ewing, Will Chamberlain. the respect he deserves. Right. He I think did. it was because he wore that Sonic shoe for him, bro. I think it's, yeah. That was a nasty Plus, it's like, time. I mean, the Knicks, nobody from the Knicks ever gets, like, nah. look at the disrespect that, Carmelo is experiencing bro, right now. Bro, that Knicks team was garbage. Garbage. Besides Pat Ewing, man, that Knicks team but they, that was trash they forget john starks was a bagger yeah um but no he said that and i was like wow when he said it originally and i'm like damn i don't know why you're not the coach of golden state you know? <laughs> right <laughs> man your eye for talent man. your eye like just your, your, your thoughts yeah like get out of here man like I, you know i love mark jackson as a player and as a person honestly um but you gotta you gotta quit saying stuff like oh, yeah that. man come on that's sensationalism yeah, man. And, Joel, and, and as much as i'm a 76ers fan i like joel and he his biggest he's really thing good is, he's really good just yeah. staying healthy i don't like some of the young boy stuff he does but, you know, like, it's not like you've been there before. Nah, I kind of like it. Do I, like, you? I yeah. know you like it, All the it, showboat, man. man. Like, I know you Joko like it. makes the game fun, at least, He man. does. That's yeah, showboy stuff, he get, though. He get out there, he act a clown, yeah. I but mean, he, even bigger than that, though, after the game, you know, like, yeah, honestly, he doesn't matter. I like the He's WWE, WWE man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's what you, like, man, you got to have a little spiciness. Because, uh, I mean, think about it. You won the league full of Kawhi Leonard's. I love Kawhi. Yeah. Kawhi is a very skilled, talented player. Absolutely. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, did you see the interview where they gave him one question? He was like, oh, you only got one? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They were like, do you want another? He was like, no, I'm cool. <laughs> got up out of there. <laughs> he's out there doing it on his own. Yeah. Look, I, you know, I love Kawhi too, though. Yeah. Uh, it, because he's funny in his own way. He is. He is. <laughs> that laugh is going to be classic for him. <laughs> oh, man. Did yeah. you have a uh, you know, side note? Have you seen um, Game of Zones yet? This week's no, you already sent them to me. I don't if I okay. okay. I'm, I'm gonna send you last week's and this week's, bro. Okay. They did one on Mellow this week that was hilarious, and then they did last week they did uh Demar Derozan getting traded. Oh, okay. hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. But uh, it, but so they had Kawhi there. It was funny. Okay, but um, yeah, man, I, I love JoJo's antics, man. He okay. makes he makes the game fun. If I, he, I he's got to stay on the floor though. He got to stay on the floor. That's yeah. the thing with him. It's like these ailments that he has. Just take it easy. Um, just play more. I don't know this whole load management thing nowadays. Like. Everybody played back in the day. Yeah. I, mean, I think time is differently. Guys play a lot more basketball now, so that's always the caveat to that. But, um, you I know. Think it's, I think it's diet, man. Like, uh, I, I was watching something where uh, Landry, was it Landry Shamet? Mm-hmm. Is that, that's, okay. Uh, he was talking, because he was the rook or whatever, so he was getting he was getting the pre-flight meal for all the, all the guys to eat on the plane. Okay. He said, uh, he was getting Chick-fil-A, he said, Joel Embiid ordered something like four chicken sandwiches. Oh, my God. Two 12-piece nuggets. Uh, like two or three fries and four milkshakes. Stop it. Four milkshakes, and I mean, keep in mind, he's a he's a seven footer. He got he got a lot of body to feed. Yeah, but why would you put that, your but body through all that on thing? a plane? I'm like, brother, if we on a plane, don't drink no four milkshakes around no. me. Because first of all, I already know, man, this, this could be some, could be some business handled. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hear we in a like confined that. space, Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. You know what I mean? I don't even know how you fitting in that yeah. that uh, that corridor. <laughs> but uh, don't drink, don't drink no four milkshakes around me on a plane, man. <laughs> But yeah. uh, it's like, yo, man, you can't eat like that. Man. Listen, that's I'm, I love Chick Fil A like the next person. No, that's, I can that's understand nuts. it, but that's a lot. That's a lot, man. That's, that's a lot. lot. That's a, lot that's a of big cows. boy. I yeah. get it. And I mean, I know he burning a lot, but it's like, yo, you could get those same cows from from healthier foods, man. You know, yeah. what I mean? you got to You got to As an athlete, man, your body is your your vehicle. You got to yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it tuned up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the thing with him, the ailments that he's having. Hopefully, the Chick Fil A thing is a once a year type thing. Hey man, um, listen. If that was what you told the rook to get whew, you for your flight meal, I gotta think he passed it all. He's a rook. He maybe wanted the rook to spend his own. No, he money. said he banged it. Really? Yeah, he said he said Joe banged it because he he was like <laughs> he, he was like yo, I got the order and I was like he was like man, I, I gave it to him or whatever, and then I saw him eat. It. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> 
would you do that to yourself? <laughs> right, like, like that day we saw that Whopper commercial and the flaming oh, Whopper. Yeah, yeah, like, why whatever would somebody do that, that to themselves? With all them jalapenos oh. and crispy onions. We was like, yeah. man, you're going to be spending some time for quality oh, yeah. time with Absolutely. the porcelain. That porcelain god, you're going to be calling them. Man, listen, yeah. 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 Well, I, hope, I hope Joel and B did that one time just to prove a point and doesn't do it anymore. Um, because his health is the biggest thing. Like his, as long as he stays healthy, he's on track to be one of the best. But he got to win too, right? You know, basketball is the only sport that you can't get away with. Oh, he never won a championship and not considered one of the greatest. Because I'm sorry, it's just it is what it is. Basketball is you have a direct impact, offense and defense. I think a lot of these guys need to take notes uh, from LeBron on how to take care of yourself. Because it's like, yo, it's a reason why nobody else from his draft class is still in the league. Man, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and LeBron is still playing at a very high level. I mean, that little groin injury that he had this year. Was just a freak accident. Exactly. He slipped, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and something happened. But he, I mean, he's pretty much gone. What's what's 17 years in yep. the league? 17 injury free. Mm-hmm. Some back problems here and there. Yeah, yeah, but nothing significant. And it's like it's still playing at a high level at what? What's LeBron? 33, 34. I want to say 33. Yeah. Bless like, us with those uh, Kanye Lebrons too. Oh man, yeah. uh, ASAP, man. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, if, if 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 the package arrives, uh, <laughs> you're the goat. <laughs> No more love for MJ. MJ who? It's just like that. Yeah, because Michael said F them kids. <laughs> oh, and when he said that, I felt like he was saying F GML. Okay. And especially when those uh <laughs> listen, though Travis Scott's drop next week. Yeah. And uh, and Kev don't hit, yeah. Then MJ was saying F Kev. <laughs> okay. And so Mike <laughs> listen, now y'all gotta duel it out. Y'all gotta duel it out here. Who gonna be the GOAT for real? Somebody got it's up for it's up for grabs. Man. I gotta think it's up well, to y'all. in times past, I mean the only thing that well, some of those LeBron watches did never come out, like those purple Dion's. I yeah. still want those. Um but yeah, man, I gotta think they're coming out. I want those those watches. I hope so, man. Yo, yeah. All right, man. Um oh, and besides the other put a button on the Toronto thing, Kyle Lowry needs to help. Oh, he sucks. Out. He's trash. Kyle, yeah. Kyle Lowry's trash, bro. Lowry been bad though. In the yeah, playoffs. I know, but yeah. I told you before, he's always got some antics. He gotta go boo boo or he, he just forgot his watch. You remember Lowry, Lowry though, like a year or two ago, and he was like, Who, me? I suck. And it was yeah. like, Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You'll never get As long as we know. As yeah. long as you know, yeah. everybody else know. Cool. All <laughs> right. All right, man. So the Warriors, they lead the Rockets 2 0. James Harden's eyes looking bad. They play tonight, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Um, are, is Houston going to get some dubs? No, I don't think so. I, I think I, they're done. I hate to say it. Yeah, I mean, in the injury to James Harden, I think, is was really kind of what, what sealed their fate. Yeah. Because I mean, it's like you go as far as James Harden takes you. Yeah. CP3 is not a factor for whatever reason. I, I figured him and him and Steph would be a good uh, kind of matchup. They've been the last couple of years. But yeah. No, no. It, it, they kind of cancel each other out at this point. Yeah. Because um, uh, Steph, it's just, and KD is just too and now, good. Yeah. Now KD's not, no, he's no longer playing passive ball. Mm-hmm. He's not trying to get his guys going anymore. No. Uh, he's accepted his role as the alpha of that team. Yeah. KD is definitely acting as if um, he's scary. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like, this you is think it. that's that's an um, it's an I'm out of performance? Because I mean, basically, like, yo, I don't need y'all no more. Like, this is like, I, this is my team. Yeah. Um, I think after after the one last year, but see, I, I don't think that Katie needs to leave because at this point, it's kind of like, Mm-mm. you know what? Uh, there is no more disrespect on these rings because even though I did team up with some guys who already won, I'm clearly the best person here. Yeah. And uh, they go as far as I take them. You know, I always would call him Beta. They're Beta for the mm-hmm. longest. And then yeah. I had to give it up after last year. Like, yeah, it's, it, the, the torch has been passed. Patrick Beverly really messed it up for the rest of the Absolutely. Guys. He pissed him off. KD had been, he had been just kind he of humble. playing. He was playing a very nice game. Yep. He, was, he was being the servant. Mm-hmm. Remember that nickname? He's yeah. the servant. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 he, was, he was being, you know, had 10 to 12 shots. You know what I'm saying? Nice, clean game. Yeah, 30 he points. Just, yeah, he just, he just wanted his friends to ball yeah. out. He was trying to help everybody out, facilitate. Right. Then Patrick Beverly yeah. uh, tried to, you know what I'm saying, try to get in his psyche. He poked at the bear, man. And then uh, and then KD, man, he, he reminded himself, like, you know what? I am Kevin Durant. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then uh, ever <laughs> since then, he's uh, it's not been good for anybody. He put the I mean, gauntlet on, man. How's this been bad for LeBron? LeBron ain't even in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, this... this uh, like the conversation shift that uh, like when Skip Bayless basically he was they led he, the count they led the show with that yeah I mean, Skip like listen uh, LeBron needs to stop worrying about MJ and uh, instead <laughs> need to worry about uh, you know what I'm saying trying to stay in front of KD because KD about to take his spot as the second best of all time hey, listen, okay and like I told you if he wins it this year and gets Finals MVP huh? that conversation is very entertaining yeah like very but I mean. I mean Man, I, I've I've never seen anything like this. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he's unstoppable. He's like we we've we've saw Michael Jordan play. That's the thing. Yeah. We've we've had the yeah. privilege of being able to see Mike in his prime and sitting in front of the TV and enjoy it, and see Michael Jordan play. We've seen LeBron at his at his uh you know, at his best. You know, there's a difference though with that though, because like when I remember watching Michael Jordan play, it was like, 
it, it looked like you know he was evenly matched, and the things that he did were just amazing. Mm-hmm. So it was like, yo, Mike was out on the floor, and he was creating magic. It was like he was doing. It felt like he was doing things that he wasn't supposed to be able to do. Right. Whereas when I watch KD, it's just like, I, it, it feels like just domination. Yeah. Like it, 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 it's like it's not like he's doing anything magical. It's just like there's nothing you can do about no. it. No. You know? KD is the only player I've it's ever saw. Abusive. Whenever he shoots a shot, I literally think it's going in. Is he abusing the league and, and other players? Like, I, it, it, it feels kind of like abuse, man. He, I'm be it honest. feels like when you used to play one of your cousins um, yeah. in, in 2K or, you know, back in the day, and you would put the attributes all the way up on a player. Like, yeah. This guy's this good. How's he hitting these shots? Or, you know, or like when, when you decide not to let your kids make any shots, they're like three yeah. years old and you're just knocking across the room. That's yeah. kind of what it feels like KD is doing to uh, professional basketball players yeah. making uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. Bro, I told you, every time he walks into the gym with a sweatsuit on, there, it, Warriors are for. Because he doesn't yeah. care. All he, he cares about is hooping. He, it, like, it, man, I, I've, I've never seen anything like this. No. And I, I watched Jordan, and mm-hmm. I've, I've never seen anything like Like, I've never seen a player that it was like, there, there's just nothing you could do. Like, yeah. that, was, that was good defense. You played great defense. Yeah. I don't know how he made the shot. Like, yeah. And you can't stop it, okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. It, See, if they don't win tonight, though, Houston doesn't win tonight. It's a wrap. You know, I think that it's time that um, that uh, PJ Tucker or uh, or uh, is it Gerald Green on the team now? I think yeah, Gerald Green. Jeff Green is uh, in Utah, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Gerald Green, I think it's time that uh, that you earn your check and get a good um, one out there, huh? Just go full Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan right before the game. <laughs> Got to break his leg, man. <laughs> I hate to say it. I love Katie. You know I love Katie. But, uh, you, you, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's time to earn your check. And, uh, hey, man, what, what, what's making me laugh is that you thought about this. Like, you really have <laughs> given this thought. Like, that's the only way you're going to stop him. You know what I mean? And, I mean he's, got pretty, uh, he's got pretty small legs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, just, just, just a sweep the leg, man. Well placed uh, pipe to the shin. Uh huh. And you know you got a chance. Yeah, you got yeah. a chance now. That's the only thing. Uh, that's the only thing that can help him. Yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah, that's about it'll it. It'll be controversial, but you know, I mean, you're you're gonna you're going to uh, you're gonna get banned from the league. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and uh, you know, hey man, sometimes <laughs> listen, uh, the the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yo, you're an idiot because <laughs> right? you really thought about this, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the only conclusion I could come to, man. Because I watch him on the floor. I'm like, how do you stop it? And it's just like, you can't. I mean, Giannis, I don't see Giannis being able to stop this. I mean, LeBron, he's tried twice and couldn't stop him either time. Yeah. Um, I, Once that confidence came, bro, it was over. Yeah. And, and once you know? he put down that 50 piece, and it was just, I remember watching the game <laughs> one night, and uh, and Kevin Durant shot a three, like, just kind of for no reason. I was like, that was, that's, a, that's a heat check. That yeah, was, yeah. Because oh, he, yeah. he had just made, like, four shots in a row, and he was just like, <laughs> let me just chuck one up yeah. just to see if I can miss. Bro, he doesn't care about brushing his hair. Why should he? But Why how should do you, he? Yeah, but how do you defend something like that? Like, you mm-hmm. look up, like, this dude doesn't care. Mm-hmm. His hair was like dead ants. He does not care one bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I hope that doesn't happen because they're going to come back to us. <laughs> I'm going to edit this. Edit yeah. it for me. Edit you know what I mean? Place. Ski mask way. That's the only way you defend Kevin Durant. Yeah. Just be in the bushes. Mask All you see is this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, like I'm sorry. Sorry, had man. Had a tear drop. Like you just be crying while you do it. Like, I'm sorry, Kevin. I didn't want to You're do it. You the best, man. man. <laughs> You're the greatest, man. You're the greatest. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Great tragedy. Oh man. All right, man. Besides that, Trailblazers, <laughs> they go up two one against the Nuggets. Yeah, Quite quadruple overtime last night. You watched it. I yeah. didn't. I passed out. Um it looked I mean from the replay on it, it looked good. Yo, CJ McCollum and uh Dame Lillard are going buck nuts right CJ now. CJ earned his pink diamond, man. Oh, Ooh, yeah. man, they should give him a dynamic duo of pink diamond. Boost him up to Galaxy Ovals. Do it, 2K. I'm giving y'all content, man. It's Hot coming. fire. It's Hot coming. fire every day. Denver is a good team, man. But um, Jokic is a problem. Man. Jokic is he's a very complete good. issue. He had a yeah. chance to win it at the he, end, too. He's a dirty player, too, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's built like a fire, off-duty firefighter, man. <laughs> Yo, uh, did you have, so did you see when Cannon ran into the dude and broke his nose? No. Okay, so that I believe that that was in game one. Okay. So Cantor uh, runs into one of Denver's players, breaks his nose again. Dude already had a face mask on, so he was already had a facial injury. He was leaking, right? Yeah. Oh okay. man. I mean, I, his, he was. It was nasty. I he, saw the clip. I mean, as far as the the thumbnail, I don't like seeing stuff like that, so I didn't click it. So it's like, yo, if you watch that play for maybe like two seconds prior to, so it was it was off of a free throw. <laughs> Jokic actually pushed Cantor <laughs> into into his own play. 
<laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it broke his man's nose. So Cantor, so uh, Jokic broke his nose. Yeah, Jokic broke his nose, actually. Wow. Because uh, Cantor just went flying after Jokic pushed him really? and, and ran into, you know, the other guy. Yeah, I was like, ah, well, that, that one didn't pay off the way you expected. But, right. Uh, and then uh, last night, uh, so he, he uh, so... Cantor has a dislocated shoulder. He injured his shoulder. I saw that. Oh, man. Uh, Jokic straight checked him in that shoulder right off of the line. That should. Yeah, I was like. That's another thing that Golden State, I mean, uh, Houston should do. They go after Steph's hand. Bro, I was like, listen, man, this this is hockey. This, yeah. You know what I'm saying? These are hockey rules hey, out man, here. These That's cats are here trying to get a ring, bro. Hey, man, let's got to do what you got to do. I yeah. mean, it's not going to matter. No, 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 you know no, no, I mean? no, no, no. Because uh, no. it's like. I, What's waiting you is Golden State. Yeah, so, I mean, like, cause the thing is, you can't reach Kevin Durant's hands. No. They're, they're so high up in the air, you. No. Mm-mm. Unless Gerald Green takes it out. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. What you got to do, man? You got to go get uh, Bobin. Yeah, mm. go get Bobin. Yeah, he can reach him. Yeah. If he can catch him, because uh, Kevin Durant's too, probably too fast. Don't even have him. him come down on offense. Just yeah, no, just, just have him. Like, matter of fact, uh, hide him. Yeah. Hide him. Matter, come off the bench, Bobin. Yeah. Tackle him from behind yeah, or something. Yeah. Absolutely. Go for a shoulder. Yeah, you're going to get bad from the league. might work might be better than that. Um, the broken shin? Yeah, yeah. Let's I don't go. know that a shoulder injury is going to stop Katie. He can shoot the other hand. I, I think I think you got to break his leg, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, you might just got to break his leg. Yeah, I'm checking your computer to make sure you don't got a spreadsheet on this, man. You, you <laughs> I, got it down on science, man. You know what I mean? Hey, man, I, I've been watching the data. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing the analysis. What nothing they could do? Yeah. Trailblazers, good. You know, shout out to y'all, man. Unfortunately, you're going to run into Golden State and it'll all be over. Been Although, I'll be rooting for him. Yeah. i root for him. All right, man. Drake, Cardi B, they clean up at the Billboard Awards. Yeah. What do we think? Not much, man. Billboard I, awards mean absolute duty. Not to a me. dag on thing. Came <laughs> and went. I didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, all all I know is that uh, Cardi B had a point to prove after. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That never makes you know what this. Uh, and this is this is kind of off topic, but I mm-hmm. remember um, I remember a few years ago. You remember Charlemagne used to always rag on Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say she looked like a man or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I remember one day Charlemagne was ragging on her. So she hopped on like like IG or just maybe posted a photo on the internet, just butt naked. Like you see, I'm not a man. Mm. And you know, my first instinct was I was like, you could have just posted your birth certificate. Absolutely. You know, yeah. you didn't you didn't have to get butt naked yeah. to uh, prove that. But yeah. you know, hey, whatever gets the job done. But right, right, right. There were other ways to prove this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fact and, you had a kid. I mean. I mean, uh, this was before the kids, so you know, oh, okay, yeah, it was true, what it was. True, but true. Uh, uh, and and Cardi essentially did the mm-hmm. same thing. It was mm-hmm. like, well, I'm going to prove to you that this was not the case by actually giving you what you want. Um, yeah, she's the greatest bird since Larry. I mean, yeah, we knew this though. But, I mean, that, but okay. that was that was her whole appeal, man. We knew this, but they're trying to clean her up at one point. I think she's getting ain't back. no cleaning her up. No, man. there's no cleaning her up. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Like, she is who she is. Yeah, I, and the thing is, like, you can you can kind of teach her the things that she can't say. Yeah, but uh, you know how she acts is like, I mean, it's the trying to polish her up, man. That's yeah. my thing. Is quit trying to polish her up. She is who she is. Let her be who she is. Yeah, you know, get those those rough around the edges is what it is. So, hey, man. but yeah, the Billboard Awards. We I don't care. We don't care. What, what did they win exactly? I know they won a lot of awards. No, they were proud of them. I know that. Both I know are. Drake won the most. Like, now he's the most winningest artist at the Billboard Awards ever. I was like, that's cool. I would expect that. Drake's been in the in the uh, rap game for ten plus years at yeah. this point, yeah. and he's been dominant for that entire run. So yeah. it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, Cardi B, congratulations! Congrats, yeah. Glad you had a great year and then, um, uh, enjoyed yourself. And yeah, that's about yeah. it, man. Who else was there? What else happened? Did anybody perform? I don't even know. Was it an award show? I don't know. I, was it televised? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I saw I saw it on Instagram. We're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on Instagram. All right, man. Avengers Endgame. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's talk Whoa. about Game of Thrones first. Game of Thrones first? Yeah, man. Okay. This, this Endgame conversation. Might okay. Get spicy. Okay. All right. Okay. Like, right. Spicy right. cheese. Right. I kind of feel just where it's going. Yeah. All right. So Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um. All right. So I love the episode. Mm-hmm. All right. I think it was, I, like you said, I think it was a masterpiece. I enjoyed it. The only thing I took away from it at the end, though, is what in the world are they going to do with Jon Snow now? Oh, man. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? The, the battle is still going, man. They just the battle the is still one. going. Yeah. It is. But I think Arya is Azura High, first of all. Nope. Can't be. Can't be? No, because, uh, you know what I'm saying? The Azura High would be a song of ice and fire. Okay. And Arya has no fire. All ice, mm. you know what I'm saying, being from Winterfell. And she didn't do the other thing. She like, wasn't born when the comic came and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So so do you think John is still a, a Zora High? Uh, th- that is that is 
what it's kind of leading to. I don't even know if they're they're even going to kind of go that direction. I don't think they with are the anymore. But they, they kind of teased it a little bit but before. Somebody made a good point. I read, and they were like, you know what? Uh, John is still Azor High, and Arya is actually Lightbringer, which was the sword that uh, you know Azor High was supposed to use to bring the people into a new dawn or whatever. Really? Uh, yeah. So it was like, yo, he John got everybody together. He's the one that made it possible. For the uh, for the fight to go down with the Night King, so that uh-huh. way Arya could defeat the Night King for them. Okay. All she did was land the blow. John yeah. actually did everything else, which Bran orchestrated. Yeah. Bran's been orchestrating this whole thing. Even though I I got questions, what was Bran doing that whole time? Bran man? was completely useless. But here's my thing with that though: <laughs> Bran was the one who ended up get, who gave Arya the dagger. He did. He also was the one to be in the weirwood tree to know that the Night King would get lured out by that. So he got him out, and also he's the one who knew that. Um, that um that Arya is the only one that could actually kill the Night King. I don't feel like he knew that. I think he did. He just gave her that dagger because it was like, well, John got a big ass sword. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I don't. I I can't use this for nothing. What I'm gonna do with it? Yeah. And uh, you know what I'm saying, Sansa, she's not gonna do anything. She's on so, the crypts. Yeah. I mean, so here you go. You yeah. can go ahead and have it. You said a great point though when you were, we were talking about. It. You said at, one, at four or five times you felt everyone was gonna die in the episode. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, they did a good job. They of did. They keeping did. Your... The suspense was crazy. Oh, even from like from the start though, it's like yo. Even when you were waiting to see what was about to happen, it was super quiet. Everybody's moving around, getting prepared. It's like yo, I felt so, so much suspense. Oh, absolutely, me you too. I mean? But how do you feel about none of the major characters dying? Really, I'm fine with it because we still got three episodes left. And for the people that have been complaining about that, it's like yo. I felt like that was kind of the major point. Is like, yo, listen, if this was the last episode and nobody died, I'd be like, all right, you know what I mean? That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. But like, this was, you know, the third episode of the season. We got a huge battle. Enough people died. I mean, there were significant characters. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Sir Jorah was significant. Liana, yeah. that was a that was a little heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though you know she didn't drive the plot or anything like that, but uh, there were there were significant characters that died. But we still got three more episodes. They, it's close to five hours worth of footage still remaining. Yeah. Yeah. The, the death that got me the worst, where I felt the, the, the worst about, was a little girl, the Umber, not yeah. Umber, the uh, Liana Mormont. Mormont, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 man, she, she went, went out like a G. G. Oh, yeah, look at you, yeah, she did. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, she did, man. She stabbed that giant in the eye, man. So I think people like I've talked to my baby sister about it, and uh, my boy Sean, shout out to Carter. Um, they're both writers, and yeah. I think people who write, they always look at things like from a different lens, uh-huh. how they would write it, or they they can see the whole. We're just looking at entertainment, right. so we're watching it like, man, that was pretty cool. Afterwards, and I, I, it's hard for me to criticize a, the show until it's in its totality. Right now, after it's all done, we can go back and point holes and things. But when I think that the writers. Um, for Game of Thrones right now, um, they will piece it all together and it'll be a good bow at the end. Well, I think it'll oh, be good. Oh, and this is another thing that I, I also have to say. It's like, yo, for anybody looking for like plot holes or anything like that in the TV show, mm-hmm. there are dragons flying around. Yeah. <laughs> like, stop trying to make so much sense of all of it. Sit you know, back. I think it is. Just enjoy like, this. It's just the <laughs> theories, man. We, we, we as, as Game of Thrones and people, we theorize so much yeah. so when it doesn't happen the way we've we've contrived it in our minds just enjoy we, it. we get a little upset I, I i feel that but see yeah. that was the thing like i'm not i'm not allowing myself to get caught up in that it's like yeah. yo it's listen, hard not to though first of all i thought the excellent the uh episode was excellent um yeah. Yeah, a lot of people complained about it being so dark first of all i watched show? it in the dark i watched it in the dark Me so too. i was already set Me too. and it was like yo the darkness added to the suspense i felt like i could feel the emotion or Bro. what was going on for the characters man i'm gonna tell you the, the part that started off the bed it was so much it was just so tense yeah and when the dothraki got, was, oh, the dothraki got to get busy and they got melisandre they lifted up the thing like, they about to get busy when they got to the front line and dude looked up like <laughs> i was like oh it's nah, going down when they came back the ones that actually lived yeah. and actually room they looked at everybody in the line like nah bro they, they serious <laughs> right <laughs> nah they deep so joy came back man he was like he seen a ghost he was like oh no he said yeah they deep yeah man like they think it's thick out there bro like listen we, i don't know about, I don't this, know about this you know um but yeah man it, the episode was a masterpiece man i loved it i still haven't watched it a second time though. and then everybody like man how did john get away from all those uh those white walkers after the night king raised him it's like because that's what the plot called for yeah absolutely like Once it again, doesn't it doesn't matter like there are he did flying right, there are dragons <laughs> flying around doesn't really matter man yeah the, the dead are walking yeah i think people weren't satisfied in the fact that john wasn't the one that killed him i think that i, I thought was that was cool better it, man aria came through they got the yeah. aria uh the, the Arya uh, Jumpman t-shirt. I, I got to get one. Yeah, that was dope. That was actually pretty dope. But she came through, bro. And at first, when I first watched it, 
um, when we saw it, she flipped it, and I remember she did that against Brienne when she practiced against her. Yeah. But I thought she dropped it to Bran and he stabbed him. And I'm like, Bran ain't done nothing through the whole episode. Nah, man. So Bran ain't doing nothing. And I watched it again, and I'm like, okay, she was one to stab him. Even it. though Bran looked up at the Night King like Bran, like uh, the Night King was a straight mark. He, right. He wasn't even looking at him when he was walking up. He like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Do what you must. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah what, what you got? Yeah. Uh-huh. He sent Theon on that. And the Night King had to do Theon like that. And it. Uh, he did, he did. <laughs> he but did, at least Theon uh, went out with some honor. Like he, did. I, uh, he, he redeemed himself for everything he did in the series. Yeah, but um, yeah, especially being a coward. Yeah. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I, Come on, we got his junk cut off. The, we got to shoot him some bills. That's what I'm saying. And it's like yeah, Ramsey yo, did that man dirty. He ki- he burnt up them little boys and all that stuff, and then yeah. he flaked out on his sister. Yeah, like just jumped off the yeah. boat. Like yo, he finally got to go out with some honor. He, he yeah. got to go out a hero instead of a coward. And uh, but um, for and then I saw people complaining about oh man. Uh, uh, why did Night King wait so long to kill Bran? Because it's a TV show. And how did he get killed so easy? First of all, we never saw the Night King fight. Period. No. We had n- like there's no. no indication that he. I'm could gonna fight. tell you the people that dropped the ball for the Night King is his generals. Yeah. Like how the hell does Arya just jump through? I mean, I got you. She's an assassin, but you guys are the generals of the freaking Night King, bro. Yeah. If I'm in the other realm, I'm the Night King. I'm me mugging all my generals. Hey, like, man. bro, how you let her slip through the cracks? Arya, Y'all ain't do nothing the entire man. episode. She, she, she's a faceless. Well, person. they need to be faceless because she didn't. They didn't. <laughs> they are they, faceless now. Yeah, they are. They didn't. <laughs> do a daggone thing through the entire episode. Kev, nah. they were there just me mugging the the, uh, yeah. the crows when they came. They were sitting in the back. They walked in like NWA. Actually, How you walk in the weirwood tree like NWA? Wait, wait, wait. No, see, no, they did thug it out because remember, John tried to kill him early. Like, John saw him when he was on the dragon or whatever. He tried flying early. They looked up, seen the dragon, and then they brought the winner. They nah, that was the Night King that brought the winner. But all the generals was right there with him. That was the Night King's protecting his peoples, man. That's cool. But Night I'm King's saying the magic one. I like the so, magic. So I'm aspect. saying so they was they was sitting back, they was chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 was, they was boss moving. Bro, if I'm in I'm telling you, if I'm in the other realm, I'm the Night King, I got smoke with all my generals. Like how the <laughs> hell you let this girl just Jordan meme through us? And get to me. Right. I'm the prize possession. Y'all then, know if I die, we all die. Then Night King thought he was about to swag it out. Oh, I mean, he did. Yeah. When uh, when uh, when uh, my man's uh, they ain't got no no stuff. Uh, Theon when, yeah. he, <laughs> when he came charging, Night King just swatted his little his little staff do, away. He didn't do Theon like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Stabbed him up. Like you know bro, he, no problem. Yeah, he grabbed Theon's little you know joystick stick and just pummeled him. Pow, through, man. Like, get out of here, man. Yeah, you know broken in half. Pow. Got I you. am the Night King, bro. Right. And Not then you. Uh, and even when Arya came flying in, Night King was ready for that. He turned he around, yoked her up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Had her by the neck, by the hand or whatever. He just wasn't expecting that third move. You yeah, know what I'm saying? She yeah. dropped the dagger. He yeah. was like, oh, what's that? What's yeah. going on? Bow. It was too late. So let's foreshadow a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Who kills Cersei? Does Cersei even die? Uh, Cersei's going to have to die because at this point they've built it up now that Cersei has to be the evil of the realm. Yeah. I think uh, She always has been. Uh, sort of. But I mean, she always kind of was just a cog in the wheel because I mean, uh, she was never better than Tywin, you know what I mean? No, like, no, no. Okay, once Tywin died, I felt like she was. Though. Yeah. Because even when her sons were the the kings, the kings. or whatever, she was pulling on. Well, no, she wasn't more evil than Joffrey. Like no. she couldn't even. She was scared of Joffrey. She was. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So even though he got murked off, I think she was a little bit. Uh, she was a little relieved. Yeah, yeah. That uh, the it was when her daughter off. died, and when Tommen killed himself, was when she went nuts. After she had to do the walk of shame, and yeah, that's yeah. when she. Because uh, before she was conniving, now she's just straight cutthroat. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And but uh, I, I feel like. Um, I feel like Jamie has to kill Cersei. I do too. Or or Cersei has to kill Jamie. Could go either way. That means Tyrion would have to kill her to prove the prophecy then. That prophecy is going to come to a hold. Uh, maybe. I, either way, I don't see Jon doing it. Uh, I think Jon might end up killing Euron. Yeah. He, uh, unless uh, unless the, the daughter or the, the niece does it. I would like to see the niece do it. Yeah, I, I would like to see Denise do it. I wouldn't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Get that, get that vengeance. Uh, yeah. What I'm really looking forward to is Clegane Bowl at some point. That's gonna happen. Yeah. We know Clegane Bowl is gonna happen. Um, are the faceless men? Do we put a bow, a bow on that story? They just serve their purposes, giving Arya her powers, and that's man, it. Give us back Jock and Hagar. I know you want to see Jock. I, I want to see Jock him too, back, man. I want to see Jock, and I want to see some sort of. But I think we already know that. I yeah. think their 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 purpose was served to give Arya the skills that she has in order to be able to kill the Night King. Word around town is that episode five is when it goes down. Really? Yeah. And if you look at traditionally how Game of Thrones has been, the second to last episode has always been the one where all the drama unfolds. Yeah, and then yeah. the last episode is kind of where they, they put a bow on it and yeah. let you know kind of the outcome of all that. Yeah. Okay. You're right. That is usually when it's happened. But this episode, this week's supposed to be pretty good too. Yeah. So so now, uh, the way I understood it is that uh, these first three episodes, it was just to build up towards the Night King or whatever. So mm-hmm. now we've got that out of the way. And now this is going to tell the complete story. So this next episode will be the beginning. And episode 
four, or I'm sorry, episode five will be, you know, the the climax, yeah. and then uh, episode six will be the conclusion. Okay, all right, I can dig it, man. We'll be back to talk about more about that. Yeah. Um, next week, but yeah, it was a good episode. I ain't no complaints about it. No complaints. Um, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Okay. In game. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, man. So I talked to Sean, man. Shout out to him. We we had a long conversation. I know we usually talk on the pod about it. We haven't had any conversations about it. Uh-huh. And uh, he said the same thing that I said, which is the only part I had a complete issue with, which is how the Hulk got just... He just wasn't himself. He The Hulk had a sling, You like man. Professor Hulk? I don't like Professor I want to see Hulk Hulk out. I like Professor Hulk. I had no problem with nah, that. No, I want to see him Hulk out. Anytime you got the Hulk in a sling, it, it hurt me a little bit inside. Um <laughs> Uh, but I did enjoy the movie thoroughly. Okay. Um, I did. It, it tugged on the heartstrings, man. There were certain points in it when when uh, Cap, you know, did the Cap thing. I'm not going to spoil it too much. When he, well, you know, no, you're going to spoil it. Yeah, yeah. it's been this a week. Is a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. This is a spoiler. Yeah, this is a time to see it. If you haven't get to this point, you haven't seen Avengers turn off. When yeah. Cap got more near, man, I was I went nuts. The whole theater went crazy. Yeah. Um, he was twirling that thing around, but it also proved how dope Thanos is, man, because he beat the brakes off him. You know, even and with I him. didn't understand that. How was how was Thanos so strong without the Infinity Stone? Like I understand he's a G. I the understand Titan, he's a man. G. They just but, raised it. That's why he's a Titan. When he caught Thor's uh, but, Stormbreaker. But I'm saying though, like okay, so when in Infinity War, it's like yo, he had he had all of the Infinity Stones or whatever, and Thor still gave him that work low key. Thor yeah, almost yeah, defeated yeah. him. Should have, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, hey, you should have went for the head. I don't know. I think that's more just movie. And that's the thing. Plot armor. Yeah, I think it's mm-hmm. more. That's the thing about the the the, the movie that I have that do draw draw some kind of issue with is if you're going to go full comic book go comic book right well, if you're going to go theatrics then you got to kind of minimize it a little bit and don't let it contradict the comic because even though he shouldn't have been able to grab stormbreaker right he should not have been able to uh to um beat like you said beat thor even though he's out of shape whatever he's still thor right and that's an aged thor versus a young thanos a younger thanos without the uh infinity especially thanos. for as easy as they gave thanos to work when they yeah. went and seen him at the beginning but they of the didn't movie. catch him off guard and he was after he did the snap. This yeah. was the thing. But I mean, they, the they got him out the paint in thirty seconds, oh, bro. bro. They they popped up I, in the I room was, or whatever. I was Captain a bit Marvel nervous about that. Like how socked him out, cut yeah. his hand off. The Captain Marvel was the one character. Like, first of all, don't go see Captain Marvel the movie because this because <laughs> this movie was like it showed that you didn't have to see it. Yeah. Because no, literally, no. she came through, and it's like, yo, she could have been such an integral part to the movie. She could have ended all this, bro. She literally had four minutes in that. Absolutely. Movie. Like, yeah, she had like you said four minutes, but she was tough. Yeah. And she sort was, of. <clears throat> she was a beast. But she still didn't. Oh, what did she do that was so beastly? I well, mean, she could have broke. She his... grabbed Hulk, or she grabbed a Thanos or whatever, and then uh, uh, and then uh, Thor cut off his hand, and then he got to running his yapper, and Thor cut off his head. Cut off his head finally. Yeah. I'm talking about the part at the end when she when uh, she Thanos, broke the ship. No, nah, Thanos headbutted him. Headbutted her. Oh yeah. She kind of just looked at him. I was like, okay, she's a G. Yeah, but um, then I mean, then he just took the power stone out. And he did and socked her. Knocked around. her right on off yeah, the screen, absolutely. and that was the end of her story. Yeah. That was the end of her chapter. Yeah. Did you, um, what'd you think, dog? All right, man. Go ahead. So, uh, you know, go. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this with this, man. Go ahead. Endgame was a good movie. Like, okay. don't, don't get me confused. It was a good movie. Okay. It wasn't better than Infinity War, though. Like, no, that's okay. I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm okay with that. Like, first of all, there was not enough action in this movie. It was a whole lot of storytelling. And it was literally just Iron Man's swan song. That's all it was. Yeah. And, and you know what? And to the point that it's like, yo... About halfway through the movie, I'm like, okay, Iron Man's going to die. So by the time that he died at the end, I didn't really care. I was yeah. like, no, okay. You know, you know why? Because you're emotionless, uh, Kev. And I knew this about you. No, I knew, I, I listen, knew you were going to feel this way. Bro, no, no, no. I knew this, bro. That's I not knew true. it. I felt plenty during Game of Thrones, man. I was on, I'm was i like, please, <laughs> please don't take him. Whatever happens, let Jon Snow live. You know what I'm saying? No, are you asked me to this. I'm telling you, I said that the minute after we walked out the theater, I said, Cam's going to plot holes in this. And the fact of how emotional me and her were, because she would have cried like three or four times. Mm-hmm. I, I might have shed a couple thug doves uh, when Tony died. My part that got me was when uh, when uh, Spider-Man and Iron Man hugged. That that was emotional to me. Yeah, that was a cool part. Um, but no, I said that. I said, Cam's not going to find any emotion in this. I said, you know what? Cam might be emotionless. Man, I really believe, no, started to believe the, that. The most emotional I got was when uh, Black Panther came through one of that those was, time yes, portals. Yes. I was like, oh, man, he came through looking like a pharaoh in the flesh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Came through walking out like a G. <laughs> yeah, he came through. You know what I'm saying? Drums going. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, was, that was dope. Yeah. That part got me. I, to this day, because I've, I've seen it other ways at home. Yeah. And, uh, I had a time, private screening. Oh, the private screening. Yeah. Because yeah. they had a watermark up there for us. Yeah. Um, for GML. has games of life at the bottom. <laughs> um, but when we watched it, I, uh, I still get goosebumps every time when I see that part. Yeah. Like, every time when he that goes That was probably the my favorite part of the movie. Yeah. And uh, I thought I thought Thor was funny. Like yeah. when they found him and he was living like on a little oh, island or whatever. Man. He was hilarious. When he cussed the kid out on oh, the uh, on on Xbox. Fortnite? Yeah, on Fortnite. Yes, yeah. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. 
So yeah. and the movie had its good parts. Like I didn't have a problem with Professor Hulk. Yeah, um, I, I didn't. Did. I didn't think there was enough fighting in there. It's like, yo, they, knew, yeah. they dusted. They dusted off uh, Thanos in the beginning. I'm like, where's this movie going from here? Right. Yeah. And that's when I kind of knew. I'm like, mm, yeah, this is gonna be a different kind of movie. It's, it's gonna. It's did gonna it be feel a lot like three long. hours. It didn't surprise. Okay. Well, when I saw it in when I saw it in theaters, it yeah. didn't feel like three hours. <laughs> now, when I watched it, uh, when private I watched the private screener, yeah, you fell. Asleep. I fell asleep. Yeah, yeah, I fell asleep. <laughs> but you've seen it before. Yeah, so you gotta put that on there. Yeah, too. Yeah, I fell asleep about halfway through, and I yeah. actually ended up watching the the second half later on that day because I was like, I do want to watch this again or yeah. whatever. It was a, it was a cool movie. It just wasn't. It, 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 it hit the same. They did they did a good job, but it just was like Infinity. It made me feel like Infinity War was that much. But Infinity better. War was so good, straight through, and, and it was just like it was just so full of the was, unexpected. The, the, okay, and that's the thing about it. You know, I do want to play both sides of the coin on this. And the one thing about Infinity War that was so much better was that it was suspenseful. Yeah, through the entire movie. But you're like, please don't let him get these gems. Please don't. Is he gonna do it? What's he gonna do? And then he, he better did not it. do it. And then he did it. And then he did it. And that was like, Dang. and then he got away. It was yeah. like the bad guy won. The bad guy won. Yeah, absolutely. Even though you knew there was gonna be some get back, and that's the part about it in Endgame that pissed me off that I didn't like was Hulk never got his get back. He beat Hulk into it, sort of. I mean, he undid the snap. He did. You know what I'm saying? So but, he got it in a different way. But just the fact he didn't come out and and, uh, and really just whoop him up. Yeah, man. I just yeah. wanted to see that. Yeah, I feel you on that. You know, at least I, get a, at least he, he whooped him up a little bit when they when they cut his head off. True. Yeah. yeah, I guess he did. He but that was that, but was that was really Thor getting his get back. Yeah, that was Thor. Because Thor held on to that. Yeah, he did. Thor gained like four hundred pounds. Well, I mean, and he killed all those Asgardians. He killed Loki, even though they they conveniently brought Loki back. It, yeah, they snuck him back on into. Well, that's going to be the Disney Universe. Plus. It goes back to our streaming we talked about earlier. That's going to be the Disney Plus show. Yeah, that's going to go into that. Um, you know, Tony's gone, but they always can bring him back. You know, it's comic books, man. So they always yeah, can they bring, can him always bring him back. Yeah. Um, because I what I was what I've been hearing is that maybe Tony's going to replace Jarvis now as AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've read, read, read that too. So yeah, you know, we'll see. But uh, yeah. Endgame was a good movie. Wasn't better than Infinity War. I'm okay with that. I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah, yeah. It was a long movie too. You gonna buy it on <clears throat> Blu-ray when it comes out? Absolutely. I'm buying that box set. Have you seen it? No, I've seen the box set. Oh, the box set. It's just a picture of the gauntlet. Really? Yeah, it's dope. Looks dope. Twenty two movies. You know that bad boy gonna be like Faux Hana. Yeah. Faux goes... Faux Hana. That... <laughs> that might be the only media I buy. Yeah. You know? I gotta have I got Infinity War on uh, ultra ultra high definition blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you do. I mean if it comes with a gauntlet, it might got me. Yeah. I'll pre order it. Yeah. So, I got, yeah. But I it, got it, to have it. It puts a good button on all the movies, man. It does. Have you guys went back and watched them again? Um, or will you? I should say, like went back and watched like all the old Marvel. Yeah, nah. I mean, yeah, I've probably, seen, we've yeah. seen them, so I was like, I yeah. know what happened. But if ever I want to kind of pick through them, and you know, that'd be nice yeah. to have, and just as a collector of things. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, it's, it's some fun to have. But it's funny too. I was talking to my dad earlier, and uh, uh, he was asking me about Endgame or whatever, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but because mm. uh, he's like, well, do I need to see the other ones? I'm like, really. I would say if you start, I'm like, if you start at uh, Infinity War and just watch Endgame, you'll have a good idea yeah. of what's going on. But yeah. I'm like, if you want kind of a full gist of it, watch Civil War, Ragnarok. Just watch the Captain Ar- Captain uh, Captain America ones and watch Ragnarok. I, I don't even think you got to go back to like uh, Winter Soldier and all nah. that stuff. It's like, yo, if you watch Civil War, yep. watch Ragnarok, yep. Infinity War, and then yep. uh, and that then pretty Endgame, much started it all. Because you get yeah. Black Panther in there, you see how he was came about. Came about, yep. Yeah, it's all that. So yeah, you're right. I wouldn't. All the other ones was like blah. And it was like literally since Ragnarok ended, where uh, Infinity War starts. Yeah. It's like yo, that yeah. one just kind of makes sense, even though the rest of that movie is has nothing to do with, uh, you know. Well, I guess it makes sense to why the Asgardians are displaced. True. But, true. But yeah, you don't really need to know any of that yeah, stuff to, you get, to get you, it. Yeah, you see, uh, 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 Stringer Bell take a dirt nap in the beginning of the. Right, the first one. So don't right, lie, you know? yeah, but it's like at least it'll make sense. It'll make you know sense but why yeah. he's dead in two seconds in Infinity War. Yeah, Dad, sorry, he's spoilers. Still, he's still got a check. Yeah. Oh well, the person that finessed this whole thing the best was uh, Vin Diesel. He said three words. He's Groot. I am Groot. That's all yeah. he said. Hey man, he gets the check. No, I forgot no. he was a dad. Uh, I forget it every time I show him. I'm like, who is Vin Diesel? My doing boy here? Robert Downey Jr. is getting that check. Oh, bro. He said he made 75 mil off Infinity War. But he finessed War. it. He he negotiated points. Yeah, yeah listen, so getting paid per, per picture. He knew they needed him, and he was gonna get the nickel. Yeah. Okay. You know who really lost in all this? Terrence Howard. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Terrence Howard yeah. lost. <laughs> now Don Cheadle eating good. Absolutely. Don Cheadle was like layup. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Thank you. Like, <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? See, Terrence Howard, you went for the, you went for the gut too soon, man. Yeah, you, man. You got to build it up, let your character, you know what I'm saying, become uh, indispensable. But then once you get to that point, man, he dropped you, the ball, man, bro. He, he came right out the gate and wanted the check. He was like, you know what? Nah, I need more money for this next one. They're yeah. like, nah, we can't pay you that. Well, he's he's gone. Iron Man
Okay. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> hey Don. Hey Don. You ready? Yeah, I got I got a good idea. <laughs> Don was like got that game. Like, all right, all right, go. man. Cool. I'm in. Yeah. Heard the horn. I'm in. Been living good. Right, right. All right, man. You got anything else? Uh, I think that about wraps it up, man. This is a long podcast. This yeah, week. Well, yeah, hour yeah, and a half. All plenty right, of content for the people. All the art today. Yeah. All right, man. But yo, we out of here, man. I am Nate here. This Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life podcast, episode 164. 64. Cool. Drink my water, people. Peace. Peace.